Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari games. And today, Atari games are going to be played on the 2600. Hooray that I fixed. Um, so we don't have the quiet. <laughs> so noisy. <laughs> Um, remember there was the screen issues and it was jumping, yep. jumping, was crazy, jittering. Jitter yeah. Oh, terrible. I, f I, I figured it out and I remember, oh, that setting. It's okay. treat time. It was yum, on the retro yum, tank. Yum, 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 yum. <laughs> oh, Thank you for goodness. jumping in. Carl G, Ooh, Carl G oh. could hear, uh. The cat's having a fit. Oh, he's having a fit today. Sprite. It's going crazy. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, they're oh both my gosh. Rang. Oh okay. my gosh. Okay. One, one to one. It's a tie <laughs> game right now. Oh, two to one for Sprite. Atari is taking away his treat. <laughs> they're being noisy anyway. Yeah. Three to one no. for Sprite. <laughs> Three is he's pulling away. Come on. Oh. Three to two for Sprite. Four to two <laughs> for Sprite. <laughs> Oh, four to three. Nope. Well, that doesn't count. No. Four to three. Don't run off. Don't run off. That slows you down. <laughs> it's no good when you run off. Oh, oh, five to three. Sprite is now pulling ahead as expected. Oh, six to three. Six, six to, to four. four. Who is... he's, he's keeping up. He could, if he doesn't run away, seven to four. Seven to five. Oh, oh, a miss. Oh, eight to five. <laughs> Almost slowed him down there. He was missing. Eight to, eight to, oh, oh no. Oh, oh eight to, to six. six. Come on, Atari, you can do it. No, no don't run away. Sleep in the room. You haven't rang it yet. No, it has to, oh, oh nine, nine, nine to, to six. six. Nine to seven. Atari's very accurate, but he runs away and slows him down. <laughs> and there's a game point. One more ding. Oh, oh he's having some trouble. Oh. Atari, it's your it's your oh, oh, ten. Oh, ten. And give him one more. Yeah, one more for Atari. Yeah. There you go, baby. <laughs> <laughs> and Atari, like the Canadian soccer team, <laughs> never wins. But that's okay. Oh, uh, but they, he gives it his best shot. He does. Yeah. Cute cats. Um, so today we're going to be playing, uh, as you saw in the little intro, Chaotic Grill, uh, uh, Immunity, and Top and Tom 2, and an exclusive work in progress update for Immunity. All these are very new updates within the past couple days. Mm -hmm. So very, very fresh. Um, I want to thank all these tons of people that are in the chat today and watching, mm -hmm. including our Lovely subscribers who help support the show. Scrolling down there. Yes. Andrew Davy, Armscar, Coder, Atari 1974, Atari Age, Atari Patch Quest, BR Pocock, Half a Man, 2D, Charles Wheel, Chitlet Law, Colonel Lama, Dionoid, Daryl, uh, 1970, Dave, AZ, Dr. Mukaz, Great Offender, Ground Trooper, Ivory Tower Collections, Johnny WC, Joe, Curd, Computer, JRM, Carl G, Ken Jennings, Invader, Lambda Express, Lauren TDZ, Mark Yannis, Mark Space, Inc., Metal Atari, McMuse, Mike Soul, Mike Littell, uh, Miss Command, MK Smith, Mrs. R, Move, Mr. Fix, Muddy Funston, Nathan Strum, Neo Media, Nostalgic, Pack Rot, VG, Cohog, RC70, Render, Goes Printless VG, Ricardo Pim, Smitty B Spice, for S Ramirez, the teleprompter, D Train, Wallace well, Cartridge, Welshman, Tiki Dan Cage, Trek MD, 2600X, Can X. <sighs> and uh, if you want to subscribe, just hit the subscribe, and it's free with Amazon Prime, and it's not free without it. Um, yes, uh, we are going to be playing Top and Tom 2 through the plus cart. Okay. And trying to get some high scores oh, on the board. Cool. Okay. That'll um, be a lot of fun. It's, it's fun. Challenging, but fun. Yes. Yeah. Uh, there's been some updates. Might be a little bit easier now. Oh, okay. Um, some parts of it I found quite hard. Yeah, it can yeah. get very challenging. Yeah, that's, yeah. That's true as well. Mm. Um, we have hit... 1,500 subscribers on YouTube. Actually, a little bit over now. 1.51. Oh, wow. I don't know if I announced this like officially, but yeah, we uh, made it to 1,500 subscribers wow. on YouTube. So thank you, yeah. everybody watching in YouTube land. That's awesome. After the fact. <laughs> thank we you. Do some, we do uh, play live on Twitch if you want to join us live. Yeah. Chat in the chat. Yeah. Uh, S. Ramirez made it to level nine so far on Top and Tom. Oh, wow. That's okay. Awesome. Yeah, it's very exciting. 1,500. 1,500's pretty, pretty good for I, a niche, you know, audience. Uh, no, I think that's fantastic. Yeah, it's yeah. really good. I mean, it yeah. took five years, but... <laughs> 
that's a lot of people yeah. to, to watch this. Yeah, to subscribe. and. Um, oh, Esther Ramirez watches it twice to squeeze every last <laughs> nugget out of it. Ramirez. It's all about the... <laughs> It's all about the cats, isn't it? It's, yeah. It's, it's about the cats. It is about the cats. Get to 1536 and I'll have to change to page six homebrew. Uh... <laughs> oh, programming jokes. <laughs> uh, I just got these in the mail the other day from Ivory Tower Collections. Wow. Well, in the mail, we had to cross a border to get had them, to go too. To the yeah. Uh, upgraded mm -hmm. in television with. Um, Crayon King's Orange Peel RGB mod board. This did have RGB before, but he upgraded to the newest RGB board. Mm -hmm. And f literally, it looks like digital output from it. It wow. is so crisp and clean. Oh, nice. I plugged it in the other day, and it just looks beautiful. Awesome. So it uses, um, I think it's a 9-pin um, Genesis 2 cable to SCART. Mm. And the quality is just amazing. So, um, yeah, if you want yours done, there you go. Um, it The metal pieces are kind of coming up on it. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to post in the forum if anybody else um, doesn't know in the chat how to get these back down, what kind of adhesive I should use, like just a normal spray glue. It's not, it's very clean, yes. It's got a little bit of scratches, uh, Miss Command. But uh, it works really well and is very, very nice looking beautiful wood grain gotta love the wood grain mm -hmm. but uh yeah the metal piece is kind of kind of bulging and they just need to be like like they're in great condition i just need to pull them back and then put some sort of adhesive and push them oh, back oh so down that they're again. stuck down but they look pretty good oh, still on that um and the, the metal looks bigger. pretty unscratched because sometimes they're really scratched up like there's yeah. a little bit there but it's really not a little bit of scratch it's really not that bad at all quite clean and that's yeah. why i picked this one to it's be very nice it's yeah. my um uh Best looking in television. Nice, nice. Uh, not yeah, only that. Physically clean. Use a steam iron? No, absolutely. Do not use a steam iron. <laughs> no, I would have to get a mouth. fifth and sixth opinion on that. <laughs> yes. Not only uh, did I get the Intellivision back, yeah. I got this beast mm -hmm. back. Um, from him, it is an Atari 5200, if you don't recognize it, which you do recognize it. I don't it's, know. It's uh, so small. I it's don't know so how you tiny. would... How would you... I almost lost it. <laughs> um, it has been upgraded with the power upgrade, because this is a four-port mm. 5200, so we can play four-player games on it. Mm. It's upgraded with the power adapter, because the original power adapter that comes with a four-port goes through the RF cable. They're like, oh, we want to save cables. Let's put the power and the signal through the RF cable. Mm -hmm. And you can get zapped. And I, I have physically been zapped by it. <laughs> so this just uses the two port mm -hmm. um, power cable now, which mm -hmm. is great. And it's been updated with um, the UAV mod as well. So it has S video out as, long, as well as composite too. Um, so this is kind of the ultimate 5200 with the four nice. ports because there nice. are some four port games um i don't know if it's any better or worse than the two or four but this way you can play four player player games gotcha um i don't know how many there are but i know there are some um including uh what is that castles uh something castles which is okay. in the four corners oh, okay okay um so this has a four player game of that um but ivory tower collections can um can uh, talk about the difference between the two and the four, if he knows, a little bit. 3M467MP, double-sided adhesive sheet. Really? Rather than a spray um, for adhesiveness. Hmm. Interesting. I'm Warlords. It's not called Warlords. It's called something else. It's oh, like okay. a, um, it's, um, a homebrew version of it. Something Castles. Something Castles, but yeah. similar to Warlords. Yes. Uh. Um, the two port systems won't play three of the original games. Oh, there you go. Mm -hmm. There's a reason to have a uh, four port if you really like those. Uh, and has shy of two ports mm -hmm. as well, of course. How did they pack all those electronics in such a small package? I know. <laughs> how, did they, how did they manage it? Yeah. I know. Mm -hmm. um, okay. They weren't I called microchips. They're just called chips. <laughs> Mega chips. <laughs> Mega chips. Uh, Giga chips. Giga chips. And some more uh, uh, meta uh, news. 
Um, ZPH interview on ZPH coming up <laughs> on January 3rd. I actually made a post about it in the uh, Zero Page Homebrew Club in the Atari Age forums. Castle Crisis. Castle Crisis. Yay. There we go. I knew Castle was in it. Um, tr I do not have a trackball for it. That's it's. Oh, that's it's one just thing. as big as the <laughs> console. It's crazy large. Uh, I probably will never get that, but I don't know. I'd have to have a good reason to get that. I have like this weird urge to take one of those 5200, like just the case, yeah. and put like a modern console in it with a PS5. <laughs> yeah, and, a like, Raspberry Pi Zero, which is like that big. Yeah. <laughs> And put it in a fifty. No, but case. just like how, what a great way of of uh, preventing someone from like stealing your um. Well, they might steal a fifty two hundred, but from put stealing your expensive or something PS five console. Or, or yeah. put it like a computer in it. <laughs> yeah, a full. Like, yeah, you could. A mother. A actually, small that's a pretty awesome. That would be awesome for a desktop, right? Yeah. Yeah, the fifty two hundred is basically an Atari four hundred. Mm. It has. A, we'll we'll go over the specs. The we're gonna be actually <laughs> uh, going on that same track. The fifty two hundred. Yeah. We're gonna be playing our first. 5200 broadcast nice. on Friday. Nice. We're going to play three Ryan Whitmer games. Nice. Phaser Cat games. Excellent. And uh, one other game. So that's in the schedule if you Excellent. want to check that's it out. That's cool. Um, so I'm really excited about that. I've been waiting mm. years to play Atari 5200 games on, on the stream. Nice. And I'm um, very happy to finally be able to play Ryan's games yeah. in quality output rather than running through the RF through it. Yeah. Through a VCR, mm -hmm. it looks really nice through S video, like really, really clean. Uh, Jesse did an amazing job. Anyway, back to this uh, ZPH interview on no, no, bad. Where is that? How can I get rid of this? Naughty. I don't want to reply. How do I get rid of this? Oh, it's on him. That's right. I'm so stupid. You are Hammerband. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. Um, so, ever had a question about Zero Page Homebrew? How does it operate behind the scenes? Why did James decide to stream uh, to do a stream all about Atari Homebrew? Yeah. Why does he keep doing it after five years? This is the time to ask. James' work partner and filmmaker Giovanna will be interviewing James and Tanya on January 3rd, 2023 about the show and more. Mm -hmm. So please leave your questions below that you've always wanted an answer to. So here is the... A link for that if you want and a bunch of people have already uh posted some questions oh, really? there okay which i don't want to read them no 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 we'll wait no, for we'll the show wait, we'll wait for the show yeah. but if anybody oh, else has questions for us yeah um geo will add it to her list of questions nice. and obviously we'll take questions in the chat as well yeah. um but if you want to think about them and type them out uh 2600 dude says 5200 was never released in mm. pal so not so common over here in australia interesting James has some pics of that 5200 without the top shell on it so you can see how large it is, how much space it actually takes up. <laughs> yeah, I'll post in my club, uh, a, a Zero Page Homebrew Club, a video that Jesse made and some pictures as well, and everybody will be able to see um, the upgrades there. I won't ask in the thread. I want to surprise you during, during the interview. The, oh, that's a go. good idea as well. Yeah. Yep. So I Either have way. no time to prep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My cat is fixated on Sprite on the TV. Oh, uh, he's he's just him? hiding yeah, at the bottom there. A little bit. Yeah, his yeah. little his little tail and his. Paws. Um. So yeah, look out for that. Uh, I'll keep reminding you of it <laughs> until January third. So it's the first show after a break. Yeah. So after, after our, the holidays. Our holiday yeah. break. Yeah. I do have the Atari Max card, so I'm able to play all the games, and I have a whole mm. bunch of. Uh, original games, and I have some homebrew on cart, and I have homebrew, of course, that I can load off the Atari Max as well. Um, so, uh, I think I talked about this not too long ago, but there's been some updates for this. Uh, the Stella DS is on uh, version 6 now. It's an emulator, Atari 2600 emulator, that runs on the uh, Nintendo DS, DSi, and 3DS. Oh! Um, and Dave Bernazzi has been working like a madman on it, and he has almost got every single thing able to run. Really? On it. On the emulator. Including oh. CDF and CDFJ games as well, which okay. are using the um, extra ARM processor mm. off of the uh, Harmony cart. Mm. 
Um, as far as I know, he hasn't done anything with the plus cart support yet, but that's mm -hmm. very, very new. Um, like here, it's, I managed to get CDF, CDF, JH squeezed onto the little emulator. Engine on the DS and some big optimizations to get the games running just about full speed across the board. DPC Plus games got a similar speed boost, and these games are now at full speed, including Scramble, which was the most stubborn to get running smoothly. Mm. Um, now, he uh, he's done updates since this post about digital waveform audio. Uh, he has got Draconian running mm -hmm. pretty good. I don't think he has it 100%. I think he's got like 50% the, uh, the voice in it. Alarm, alert, 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 alert. alert. Um, <laughs> so uh, he's almost perfected it, mm. really. So you've got, it's really cool. You've got all the switches down below. I think that's so and, awesome. And the emulator up there. Yeah. And you've got a D-pad. Yeah. And four buttons that yep. you don't need. Yeah. I don't know if he's added in two button support for like mm. games that um, support a Sega Genesis controller, but I'm not sure. Um, that would be a really big bonus if he does. And I bet he does because it's using Stella. It's based off of Stella, um, a newer version of Stella, and Stella does have that support. So if you have a DS, a DSi, 3DS, and I think you have to do some software and modding. You have to do a little bit of side loading, I kind of. I think you have to do yeah. some side loading on but it. But that's okay. But I'm not well, sure. You'll have we to have a 3DS, that. so we should try that out uh, and see yeah, how it how we it do. Runs. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. Um, let me just post that in there so you can check that out. That is and there's cool. the GitHub right there, Wave Motion Dash Dave Stella DS. Uh, really, really cool. More places that Atari 2600 could run, the better. Mm. Um, let's see, what else do we have? I think that's the end of the news. So let's get into the games. Yay, games! Chaotic Grill is up first. Ooh, I'm excited. And we haven't played Chaotic Grill. Not in a while. Since the middle of 2021. Really? July 23rd, okay. 2021. So okay. it's been almost a year and a half. Wow. Which is quite a while. So let's get that going. Um, because I think he took a, a little bit of a break. And then he started working on it again, doing mm. some big updates. Um, so it is time for that. If you okay. want to load it over the top of the cat. Yeah, I can. He's always like, "What? What? I'm not a. I'm not a. <laughs> I'm not a controller. Yeah, I'm not a controller. You can't control pillow. me. Okay. Uh, this Cat by uh, yeah, Catagrill. This is by Philip Blackman. Uh, Blackman, known as Splendid Nut, in the Atari age forms. Excellent. Oh, nobody could hear that. Let's load that up again. Are you this crying again? Do you want to play some Chaotic Grill? He does. So he did code graphics and sound. Uh, load it up again, please. Nostalgia 37 did the sprites. And Kurt Woolwich did uh, miscellaneous. Miscellaneous. Everything the, else. Everything else. <laughs> yeah. There we go. He's got a new intro screen. Nice. Oh, very nice. Burger comes down. There we go. Miscellaneous. <laughs> <laughs> Just stuff. Just stuff. Um, he also is working on a game called Paint the City, which I'm very uh, Ooh, looking forward to as well. Remember cool. that car jumping up on the different platforms? So Build those burgers. Go, go, go. Um, so this was first posted December 15, 2015. This build is from today. So if you remember, you want to kind of catch the guys on the burgers or in the burgers. Oh, you went too fast. Stop, stop. Oh, you have to catch them on the burgers. I'm not good at that. You just wait till they come near you. Oh, no, no. Nope. Run. There you go. Because then it goes all the way to the bottom. If there's, um, he's going to come off that. Run. Oh, we can come off it? Yes. Oh, geez. When you squish them, then they disappear. I've, I've forgotten. But when they ride it down to the bottom, they go back on it. There you go. Oh, no. Oh, and this plays so well and sounds really good too. And it's got um, run, intelligent flickering. Mm -hmm. the, the, the width of the intelligent flickering is, is fairly wide, but um, it's not too bad. Okay, let me read about it. So July 12, 2022 update. Uh, he says, oh. I honestly have no clue as to when it'll be ready. I'm stuck in, t in that void of an almost a complete game that I could easily fall into the trap of cascading rewrites. 
Uh, there's a list of areas that could benefit from being rewritten, and I have another list of things that I'd like to do. Currently, I'm work, uh, working on finishing up the burger logic rewrite. I've almost got the timing issues worked out with it. The rewritten burger engine uses more time than the old one because it keeps track of all the burger pieces. We get to handle five moving pieces, after which it doesn't have enough time and overflows the scan, scan line count for the frame. This is because I'm trying to get it all fit in within this overscan region. In addition to that, the burger base collision code still has a couple strange bugs that needs to be fixed and is all in need of optimizing. I really like to rework the enemy handling and be able to run all the enemies at the same rate as the chef, 60 frames per second. There's a temptation to create my own bank switching scheme based on Deep Sea Plus to help alleviate the gymnastics the Colonel currently does to swap out sprites. Yeah, don't forget about the pepper if you're in a. I a always jam. forget the pepper. I you always can forget. Throw it. it in their face and it'll pause them for a little while. Oh, oh pepper! Oh, oh. Well, you made it away. He, he went another direction, so. Yeah. And that's extra pepper, remember. Oh, nice. Got three of them ice cream oh, oh that's okay so just as a hint they always go up right up right down left down left <sighs> they always trade off oh pepper ah. uh. i'm sad. also kind of need of a better debugger tool i've started looking at the source code for stella to see about adding something to help me in that area basically i need an easier way to see a list of variables so i can watch them better you say it's some sort of development hell and that's you could say it's some sort of development hell, and that's why it hasn't gotten attention it deserves. Ultimately, I have too many projects going on, and I've been meaning to put more effort into this one. Just haven't followed through on that. So, November 13th, I started fiddling around with this yesterday while watching ZPH's Atari Age Day. I made some compromises, and I've had done enough tweaks here and there that I feel somewhat com comfortable providing a new release. This is... Uh... The one before this one. Mm. So, new title screen. It's a work in progress and a bit hacked together, but the basics are done. It uses a huge burger sprite that Nostalgia37 made. Also includes the credits. New bur burger logic. Instead of my hacky waterfall list debacle, this version now keeps track of all the burgers on the screen. So this, in theory, should be less buggy. Fix the bonus item. It now relies on uh, the plated burger piece count. Fix the pause in the music. The big compromise that is, I bumped up the scan line count to 268. Ugh. Oh, out of, out of it. Used oh no! All, used them all up. Oh no! Too much pepper use. Uh, but there will still be an occasional shimmy. I really need to rework the player enemy logic to run faster. I also need to try and optimize the sprite sorting, which currently happens every frame. Doing these things should allow me to get the scan line count back down to 264. <sighs> 262, but I'm not sure when I'll tackle that. If if when I do tackle that, then a physical release can and will be planned. Um, and I think I mentioned this before, November 17th, John Champeau posted, I actually started a Burger Time game for the 2600 of about four and a half years ago. Of course, of course he did. He did. Um, uh, not knowing that Philip had started one. My girlfriend is a huge Burger Time fan and suggested I work on it. I spent about eight hours on it and came off the basic layout for all six levels with the condiments. The big difference is that I was alternating drawing ladders, platforms on one scan line, and the condiments on the other to get different colors. I like I like the approach Philip went with, having the condiments solid with more space with the ladders, and the sound control graphics are spot on. This is definitely the version of Burger Time we all hoped for back in the day, that's for sure. So, got to go to thumbs up from uh, John Shampo on this one. And it is, it is absolutely amazing. And having the um, the burger pieces in between the ladders is really smart. Because you don't need really well-defined ladders. Like, those are obviously ladders, right? Mm -hmm. This screen is tough on the bottom half. Yes, the, the, the other screen that you... The other screen is very tough very when you start. Tough. Um, November 27th, um, and this is the version before the one we're playing. All right, I have the beginnings of a level editor integrated in. So we're going to take a look at the level editor after this. Cool. So we can make our own burger time levels. And I hope for a possible release, he will be able to include some of the best levels that he likes into the end feature. And you can have like bonus uh, chaotic grill levels. Um, the level editor is currently accessed, so we'll get we'll get back to the level editor. Um, November twenty eighth, uh, this version. 
I think I have uh, the infinite end of... Oh, November 28th is the issue uh, version before this one. I think I have the infinite end of round issue fixed, and the chef lives counter should now be working as the lives in reserve counter. Yay, you're doing it properly. Lives in reserve. Um, and today's is fixed for the bonus item and its timer. Very nice compared to the original M Network version. Yeah. Uh, the very original M Network version is oh, they're all grouped together. That could be very good. Okay, wait, wait. No, I don't. I don't just want to get it done. Oh. Okay. Get it done. Get, get it, it done. done. <laughs> yeah, the M Network version is uh, questionable. It. Uh, it doesn't use any sprite handling, so it just uses all the other things for the enemies. Like, it uses, like, the missiles. Ah! Ah! Pepper! You have oh, six of them. I always forget the pepper. <laughs> I always forget the pepper. It uses, like, a ball, and it uses the, um, the missiles as well, so they're, like, rotating squares <laughs> for some of the enemies. And it's like, okay, rotating squares. I can imagine it, I guess. Yes. Pepper! Oh, I was... Losing a pepper is way better than I losing know, a I know, I know, I know. Oh, I'm out of water. Oh no, go get some water. You only have one life left. Okay, I'll go get some water. Go get some water. gained a life somewhere. I think though. you did, yeah. It is snowing today. Oh, it's insanity. Took you almost uh, an hour to get home this time? As opposed to... Oh, it was... I left minutes? really early, too. Oh, no. Pepper. Oh, not enough pepper. Not fast enough. <laughs> you got not lots of pepper. Fast, not fast enough. I hit it once and... and not fast It was too enough. far away. No, I get caught on the edges sometimes, so it's mm. like I'm trying to move and didn't... Oh, I didn't quite get him. Yeah, a little too early with the pepper. No game over screen. Hey, my turn. There. Oh. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Unscrewed the top yet again. Take that <laughs> foul lettuce or pickle. <laughs> is it a pickle or is it a lettuce? It... Boom, 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 That's boom, boom. Question. See, it goes all the way I know, almost to the bottom. Almost to the bottom, not you completely. You save so much time and I you get know, points. I know. Now, this is. Oh. Yum, 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 yum. Ice cream. <laughs> um, it's harder as it gets. Oh, that's going to get me. Smoosh. Smoosh, I'm good. So, if they have an opportunity to take a ladder, they, they will. Yeah. Um, or a they straightaway. Go in a, they go in some kind of specific patterns, up, I notice. And, uh, up or down, then left and right, then yeah. up or down, then yeah. left and right yeah. most of the time. So yeah. you can kind of predict... Which ladder they're going to go up, sort yeah. of? They, I mean... they, they always follow a very, very specific pattern. Okay. So this is one of these games um, that I wanted to like back in the day, but I didn't understand like the rules of it. Um, so I was never really good at it. I was never very good at it. And there was something about those big characters I found mildly terrifying as a child. <laughs> I think it was the egg. 
there's something about the big egg that I like yeah. it's weird but I found it scary in, in a way that I can't quite put my finger on why uh, why it was so um <laughs> absolutely frightening. I don't know why <laughs> I don't know why I think it was the actually the, like the advertising campaign for it okay where they had I think they had big people people in big yes. costumes chasing yes. a chef around yes am, am I am I crazy does nope. anyone remember this it's very in your face kind of and, and commercial. they were like these big I don't know yeah. uh, suits outfits. suits yeah chasing chasing the chef and I think I found that like really terrifying mm. yeah Overfood. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> if there was a word that eggs would on be burgers it. scare me too the food is going to eat you <laughs> <laughs> I'm sp the food prepares you <laughs> <in Soviet Russia. laughs> yeah Oh, Yakov Smirnoff still lives to this day <laughs> through through the Twitch chat. I, I, I think I'm pretty sure he's still alive. But come on, Eggy. That egg frightening? He's pretty frightening. He's he like is a cy frightening. Cyclops, isn't he? Does he only have one eye? Yeah. Yes, he does. Yeah. Oh, someone put up a YouTube video. Oh, did there you we find go. it? I'm gonna have to look at that later. I think I remember seeing that. Yeah, I don't know. I, I was probably fairly young at the time. Uh, but I have a memory of, of, <laughs> of it being kind of Traumatic scary. Traumatic memory. Kind of scary. Like, I don't know. Oh Mind you, I found everything scary. <laughs> Everything's scary. Yeah. Like, I didn't want to see E.T. Well, there are some frightening scenes. In yeah, that. but it's not like uh, it's not like a really, really scary like '80s film. But no. for me, the thought of like the alien just like really scared me. <laughs> the most. I and I'm sure I was like nine or ever. ten. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like I wasn't. I'm not talking about like a five year old. <laughs> but uh, come on, yeah. one of you. Anyway, good job. Thank you. This level is very tough. It's hard to start cause because you start at the bottom. And you you just get trapped. Yeah, the bottom ones are the hardest. Yeah. Yeah, finish, just this off. finish it off before you get smooshed. Yay! Yay! Egg doesn't have a strong appearance in the commercial. <laughs> it might not have been the egg. I just, I'm going to have to look at the commercial. This one's pretty tough, We'll too. put it on when we're done. I want to I wanna see it now. Some nostalgia. Up there. Can we? Can we put it on? Is uh, that a problem? It well, shouldn't be a problem. Given it's an advertisement? Yeah, usually Pick advertisements aren't a problem. Yeah. Um, the music uh, was a problem during the um, Uno Plus Cart show the other day. Really? It got flagged by YouTube. <gasps> For what? Um, just copyright infringement. Um, because it was... Atari 2600 versions of well-known songs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's kind of a compliment to um, to Marco Yanis for doing yeah. such a good job yeah. on the music because it was yeah. so accurate that YouTube went, yeah, that's the real music. This uh, level's no walk in the park. Either. No, it's pretty complicated. <gasps> French fries! Oh, ho, ho. it's like his eye goes red. That's funny. He gets a red eye. <laughs> Come on, Eggy. Come here. Yeah, see, that's no Let's good. See you one level I love time. fried egg on a burger, but I'm usually about to get drunk when I have one. I'm not <laughs> sure I could handle it on a hangover. <laughs> mm, 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 mm. Ah. Yeah, Ramirez, they flag everything. Yeah. They flag everything. Yeah, yeah. they kind of do. Ooh, this is gonna be a little bit of a squeeze. Yeah. Uh, 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 everybody over there, everybody over there. Yeah, 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 that side. And then we'll go around here. And we'll get rid of one of you. Yay! Ooh. I love how happy he is. He's so happy. Yeah, they do flag everything. Guilty in pr until proven innocent, and unfortunately. <laughs> yes, exactly. I mean, they are versions of the song, <laughs> just 2600 versions. They didn't take down the the episode or anything. So. Oh, no, they just flagged it. They just flagged it and said, you can't make any money, which I don't monetize my YouTube stuff anyway. Because that just adds more ads into it. More aggravation, right? Yeah. Come on, guys. There we go. Oh, you're coming up there, are you? 
Oh, good goddamn neighbor. That's okay. Okay, come on, pickle. You come here. You go up. Yep. Yeah, you can kind of lead them, can't you? you? Can. I think that's part of the strategy. It is. Uh oh, he's coming up the middle. Yeah. It's annoying. Yeah, it's not what I want. Oh, it's not what I want you can pepper them on the on it, right? Y yes. And drop you can. it that way too. Yeah, you can. This is the level that really pushes the burger system. It has a lot of <laughs> burger system. And they are really tall burgers. They're like double quarter, no, not quarter pounders, double Big Macs, which is like four patties, right? A double Big Mac? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Is it? Well, yeah. it looks like there's only like one burger and like tomato and cheese and it's quite a bit of food on there. I wish someone would make me a burger. This is Cafe Man 2T. Everybody's well, getting hungry. Yeah. After watching, oh, should I get that? I should. Yeah. Um, but it wasn't until playing this 2600 version that I really like, oh, okay, I, I understand this game now. Mm -hmm. I know how to play it. I know how to manipulate the uh, the enemies. Well, I'll do this one. Yeah. I come, wonder, oh, come on, everyone. I wonder if the, the creator ever worked in fast food. That's a good question. That is a good question. I bet wow. somebody asked him that in some interview somewhere. Okay, burger guys, come on. Come in here. And we'll finish it off with that. Those but are very big burgers. <laughs> Sivarain? Sivarain? <laughs> this is a game I had to buy five times back in the day because I got four defective copies. Oh my god. <gasps> wow. On the 2600? Oh my god, this yeah. is a very hard level. There's... S. Ramirez says, I worked at Burger King last summer. Yeah, yes, okay. they say, 2600, oh. yeah. Yeah, okay. Burger King. I never worked in fast food. Did you ever no, work in fast food? No, that would be the last place I'd wanted to work. Yeah. It, you, I had friends who worked in fast food, yeah. and they always just smelled so bad. <laughs> Like, this is the they truth. smell so bad, like their uniforms. Yeah, and just fried food is just. All over them. Mm, yeah, always a problem. I worked at. Um, I worked in a retail. Corner store. Um, so. And you worked at a, a comic book shop, right? Well, that's like a dream job. Yes, I did. But you did. You <laughs> did, did work at yeah. a comic book shop. Yeah. Oh god. That's that's going to be your second YouTube channel. Things, no. tales from the comic book shop. Oh no, no. god, no. <laughs> no, I don't have much memory of that. Yeah. It was a long time ago. Oh, Ursi70 says Burger King was his full time job, first full time job too. Oh, I have wow. trouble going through the drive through because I just smell my old work clothes. <laughs> oh. oh my goodness. S. Oh. Ramirez, my fave job was working at a local arcade. That would be amazing. <laughs> Oh. I pressed it. You, ha you can't hit it too fast. I oh, find. okay. Yeah. There's a timeout. Hello, Metal Lunar. A uh, number of my friends worked at an arcade, um, which was pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice to drop it on him. I never oh, worked wow. at an arcade. <laughs> no. I mean, Retail. I worked at a gift shop for quite a while, and I, I like that. That was fun. Shop, that was yeah. a yeah full time job for a while for me. Um, I still have six lives. That's pretty good. And actually. then. Hey, I, taught, I taught swimming lessons and stuff when I was a teenager, which was a really, really good job. So I really enjoyed that. And lifeguarding. Lifeguarding and teaching swimming. So. This, is, this is a very oh, nasty Lots level. of dead ends there. Yep. Did those guys just turn around? Yeah, okay, looks good. like it. I have I to. Pickle. Pickle and um, egg. Also worked at a golf course. Yeah, you did all the grass. Yeah. Um... Poor, poor thing. Yeah. That sounds like a terrible job. Um, it's got its ups and downs. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's good and bad. And then I'm gonna have to do something about that egg. And you haven't played golf since. Well, I've never played golf. <laughs> ah, no uh... trouble. Oh, he woke up. RC70, the fancy grass? How do they do that? With very, very good mowers. Yeah. And a lot of training and... Seeding? Carefully. Yeah. yeah I, I did um, some of the seeding on the tees. I'm out. That's why. Oh. I'm in trouble. I'm gonna use up all my lives here. Nah. 
No, no, no. Oh, you should have left. Uh, it's very hard without pepper on this. I worked at Toys R Us, Burger King, and a local grocery store. Okay. Thanks. Ah, too early. Sorry, 2600 dude says Burger King over here in Australia is called Hungry Jacks. But oh, it's the yeah. same French, same um, company, I guess? Oh, yeah, this is impossible. Without uh, pepper. Go the other way. It's dead ends. <laughs> oh, my goodness. There's just a ton of dead ends oh. in this one. Um, McDonald's is still called McDonald's, but they call it Macaws. Macaws? What? Where? Macas? Macas. In Australia. Oh. You just get cornered. One burger piece per life. Oh, no. Okay. No. Oh, boy. That's not what I want. No. Everybody get together and go in the same direction, please. Oh, they have to follow a single path. You can do this. Just go down oh, the hill. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Good job. Woo! Oh no, there's one more! One more! What? Oh my god! Oh my god. <laughs> I, I missed that one. Uh, wall, Run! Wall bombs and grand unit markets, supermarkets for me. I work the dairy oh, aisle. Oh, is this the same level? First level again? Maccas is just the slang name for McDonald's. Yes, it's not yeah. on the sign. No. It's like what people call it. Yeah. Well, they, we, there's they lots of slang names for McDonald's. <laughs> Tons of cutesy shorthand in uh, Australia for things. It's yeah. really funny. Okay. You can't... There's not enough room f for you to do that mm. on the ladder. Ooh, I need some, I need some pepper. Mickey D's, correct. Mickey D's, that's true. We that's do very, have a very a short, Canadian shortcut. Is that Canadian? Yeah, for sure. Not. Uh, I called it Mickey D's when I was in high yeah, school. Yeah, but that's not a U.S. thing either. I th I think it's in the U.S. as well. Can some U.S. people chime in? Is it Mickey D's in the U.S.? Have you ever heard I that? No, I, I feel like that's a Canadian thing, but maybe I'm. It might wrong. be. Or maybe it's like a. It's hard to know, right? Central East kind of thing. Oh God. Okay. Keep going down. Yeah. Oh, he turned around. What the hell? That's not normal. Uh, that's a new Mickey D's is slang in the U.S. Yeah. Okay. I thought so. Mickey D's is what we called in the U.S. Maybe that's an East Coast thing. Yeah, this is hard. Okay, come on. Come on. Down you go. Run, 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 run. Yeah. <laughs> Keep it running. Okay, everybody. Get together. Judging by the earlier comment about the Canadian soccer team, have you guys been watching the World Cup? No. Not really. I just I just go, did they win? No. No. <laughs> no, they didn't win. They were supposed to play Croatia at some point. I think that's their last game, but they're not moving forward, so. Oh, okay. US advanced today. Woohoo! Yeah. You don't like the Canadian team is not The men's soccer team is men's not. Men's soccer team is not well, world no. class. Like no. they are, but they, no. they're never gonna win. Canadian women's, on oh, the other destroy. hand, destroys <laughs> Destroy. It destroys, but yeah. Well, they're 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 just as good as the American women's, which do also do extremely well. So, oh, do they? Yeah, okay. I think they usually end up playing each other in the Olympics mm. all the time. But uh, I don't I don't follow. Don't don't ask me about sports. Nope. I don't follow it. I Not just know that they made the World Cup, which was like a massive big deal. So. Not a sports house. Yeah. No. 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 Not that I dislike. Oh my oh, god. Oh wow. That was shit. really close. Peppered him. Uh, I'm trying to conserve my pepper. Yeah. I only have one left. That's fair enough. A lot more U.S. East Coasters here than I realized. Especially this time of night. <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm Although I guess it's only and... nine. It's only three hours ahead, so it's not too uh, bad right now. Ah, uh, no! Oh, no pepper! Oh my god! Oh my gosh, you got so I didn't lucky there. Think they would do that. Yeah. But... It's kind of like Pac-Man. Sometimes you just have to take the risk and like hope they turn around and yeah. go the other way. <gasps> oh. I had to do it. Yeah, yes you did. Pepper. Oh god. Oh no. I'm in trouble. <laughs> it's looped around. Uh, this is the second iteration of the second level. Spent my first 10 years in New York. Yeah, creeping on 10 p.m. Yeah, yeah. It's okay. getting there. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah Give me yeah. pepper. Give me that pepper. We won our last game, Australia. Nice. Um, oh, spent my nice. first 28 in New York, S. Ramirez. Is that it? Good. It's cornered. And now it's deaf. 
Death to me. Death to the chef. Yep, death to the chef. Uh, maybe not. Maybe I can pull it off. But... Go down. Go down there. See, the top is not bad. There's lots of options up here. Yeah. I'm gonna go straight up. Of course. No. Oh, no. Zigzaggy. Interesting. It's usually their behavior. Yeah. Oh, come on, dude. I can't. Yeah. Yeah. Like that. yeah. Well, I can't get this either. Time for work. Ah! Oh god. Uh, Last happens. pepper. That happens. Good job. That was close. That was good. All of it oh, went nice. down. Oh nice. Oh I need that really badly. Is it, it gives you pepper? Yep. No. Anything in no, the middle. No, no, no. It's just a bunch of different no, um, no, 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 icons no, no. for the same thing. Oh you just hit the last little bit there. Oh, Onto the far edge there. Mm. Oh, they're so fast now. Just smoosh them. Give them a good smoosh. <gasps> they come out so fast, too. Yeah. Come on. Pepper, 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 pepper. Yeah. Can't get it. No, you can spray. You can pepper him. Oh. Oh, spray him and then get the other pepper? Mm, I might as well just keep my pepper. True. Good point. Good point. Oh, risk it. Down you go. Squish, squish. Squish that guy. Nice. Oh, the pepper just beautiful. Unfortunate. Oh. There. That's how you get around him. <laughs> See, this at least has two ladders. Yeah. It's that later level that's oh. just brutal. And down to the bottom. Oh, <gasps> he woke up! up. Mm. One more burger to make. Oh, they're so fast now. Oh, what? How did you evade that? Cheater. I have to say, Texas is one state we haven't been to. I I'm doing quite to. well on this. Uh, you've, I have. Been to, you've been yeah, to Texas. Yeah, for a film festival. Yeah. It's on my list of places I want to go. I might be going back. Yeah, that's true. That's Maybe. true. Maybe. Yeah, there's In, a possibility. Uh, May or whatever. whatever. May, yeah. Oh, I'll squish it. No, no. <laughs> okay, switch. Oh. Yeah. Me. Oh, oh, I'm dead. Why did these burgers smell like feet? Shouldn't the enemy be a patty, not a sausage? <laughs> <laughs> Why is True. this guy walking all over the burgers? Yeah. Wow, getting fast. It's really fast, like stupid fast now. Uh, the D train. We have to go for pizza the next time you guys are in New York. Yes. Oh yeah. That's I'd another place there. we need to go back to. <laughs> Got all of them. Wow. Oh, wow. That, you got to get a bonus for that. Uh, it gave me a bunch of points, but uh, I don't know if it... Uh, oh. Sprayed it the wrong way. I turned around and panicked. <laughs> As for mirrors, if you ever step by, you have to come over and play Atari. Oh, yeah. The game course. room is complete now. Oh, excellent. Why are we looking for logic in an 80s video game? <laughs> <laughs> fair point. Fair point. <laughs> Oof, oh. Oh. Oh, no, no, you don't have any pepper. No! This is where I die. I don't think I'll make it past this level. Nice. Even though it's a fairly simple level, they're just really fast now. Squish all of you. And they come back fast, and you don't know where they're coming back. Oh, they just, just come out, and you're dead. Yeah, that's hard. 89,350. That was really, really, really good, mm -hmm. actually. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's probably my best game ever on Burger Time. I don't know how this compares to the... Arcade? I haven't played the arcade very much in terms of speed and difficulty. Yeah, the fallover animation it's is great. great. Yeah. Thank you, RC70. Thank you, Nostalgic. Yeah. So good now game. we're going to check out the editor. Oh, yes. And uh, play around with it. So, uh, select switch when in a game. So there's the editor. Mm. He's dead at the bottom. Um, when started, the enemies are hidden, and the menu status area appears at the top. Uh, and the pepper spray becomes the cursor to move around the screen. Okay, so you made it to the top. So you have to pick level, I guess? I don't know. Um, and the pepper spray... Uh, moving up from the top of the level will take you into the menu. The level editor menu at the top of the screen with three options. Left and right move through the options, down and move back. Level, edit the level layout. Burger, edit the burgers. 
I've just started working on this. Enemy, nothing yet, but should let you edit the enemies, move their entry spots. Um, oh, I see. Okay. Uh, are you in the burger editor? Yeah. Okay. So I guess you could put nothing or a catcher, right? All the different pieces of the burger. Yeah, you do need nothing. I don't see nothing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nothing, nothing is probably necessary. Yes. That's missing. <laughs> um, the level option allows you to change the layout by editing the maze intersections. Okay. Use a cursor to move around the screen. Use a fire button to switch between move and edit modes. When in edit mode, left, right, up, and down will toggle. So did you do up and down as well as left and right when you're editing the burger? Uh, uh no, but now left I'm in the right, level and, and this down. is kind of weird. Okay. Okay. So what go back was... to the burger. Okay. Down to get out of it. Oh. I don't know what's going on. It kind of freezes. Oh, broken. Yeah. Still, still working on it. Cool though. Go to the burger again. Go to the burger again. Don't hit the button on the menu. Oh, that wrecks it. Just down to get out of the menu. Just to, down. Don't okay. Hit the button. Okay. Obviously, does something bad. Oh, I see. Okay, so burger. Oh, okay, now this looks better. Yeah. So go up to somewhere. And edit one of the burger pieces. And there's up, down, left, and right. Even though it says only left and right. Yeah, up and down doesn't a, do anything? I don't see a blank. No, this is up and down. Oh, okay. So there's no blank yet. Yeah. It, it is just the beginnings yeah. of it. Fair enough. What does this level letter today need? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> What's the blue stuff? Uh, those are catchers. You can see them at the bottom of the screen because you need a place for the burger to end up in. You need a top bun, a bottom bun, and s I guess something in the middle. I don't know if maybe you can have nothing in the middle and just have a top and bottom bun. Um, use the fire. When in edit mode, left, right, up, and down will toggle whether that direction is available at the current intersection. So it may not be available in all things. So that's up, down, left, right. Is available there. Okay, something. I don't know what's going. On. Holding it now. Yeah, that's weird. <laughs> okay, little. It's a little funny for some reason here. It's getting caught. The neighboring block will also change the match to maintain two-way paths between intersections. The burger option only allows you to change the graphics for the piece currently on the level. So you can't make it nothing right now. Uh, uh, again, use the fire button to switch between move and edit modes. It's not working though. Is it you this can't... thing? There we go. Don't slam it. D harder doesn't make it better. No, but it's, it, it's just being funny. It's being well, a little no funny. Well, there's no visible thing to tell you whether you're in move mode or edit mode. See, it's not going into edit Not going mode. into edit mode. Yeah. yeah. I don't know what's happening there. It's That's okay. It's early. It's <laughs> I like this, though. One burger, hold everything, please. Yeah. Um, when I was a kid, I usually liked my burgers plain. One time, I actually got it truly really plain. Just not the bun. Nostalgic, we're similar that way. Uh, we would go to Wendy's, Yeah. and I would get a burger with mustard nothing else hey that's that's how i like my mustard. burgers just i didn't like the pickles or lettuce or anything it was just a burger with mustard so i still need to figure out how exactly i want burger editing to work since i need a nice easy way mm. to change how tall how many pieces each column has i haven't given much thought to how enemy editing should work but i don't think there's much to be done since they're only come on the screen from the far left and far right mm. please feel free to give your thoughts and feedback on this I think you've got the basics down here. I like mm -hmm. where it says, oh, you have the option of going up, down, left, and right. Yeah. See, going left doesn't do anything on this mm. one, even though it says you can. Up and down do. And then up and down work on this, which is correct. You can't do anything. And that one doesn't show any indication you can do anything, even though you can. So just there's is obviously some some issues. So, so let's look at the uh, level editor. Ooh, this is hard to know what's going on. Because there's no cursor. I'm going left, right, up, down. Whoa, oh, weird. 
The level option is the most complete, Splendid Nut says, for, for oh, the there we e go. editor. Mustard middles. Someone, um... Oh, RC70 I see. used to make mustard sandwiches as a kid. So you <laughs> Mustard's go to a, the best condiment. Yes. So you go to a spot. Yeah. And you press the button. And you press to the right. It gets rid oh, of the thing on the right. Oh, gotcha. The right, press to the left. Ah. It's like a toggle. Gotcha. That makes sense. Neat. Oh, that's neat. Very cool. Oh, look at this. Mm -hmm. Say if there's nothing there and you press right, it'll put a spot underneath you and to the right. Hmm. If you press left, it'll put a spot underneath you under the left. Oh, that's cool. That's very cool. I like that. Yeah, this is a very, very good level editor. Yeah. It makes it makes it really, really simple to understand. Yeah. So you can Burger make, Purist. Um you can make really terrible levels. Dan never liked pickles and tomatoes are okay. Tomatoes. If you want a wet soggy bun <laughs> you put a tomato on a burger or a sandwich i just True. i i i just i'm not a tomato fan on sandwiches no you don't it like just them. it just makes everything mushy i don't i don't like it um yeah carl g mustard is the best condiment <laughs> so you can Neat. make a terrible level where it's just one path <laughs> All the way up. Well, you just have to get them to chase you in in the in a row, and then yes. drop them, drop them, yeah, drop them. You could yeah. make really, really tricky levels. Yeah, like you could. Load runner esque. Oh, oh, yeah. Type of levels where you have to do it, and you have to drop and you, them with the burger pieces. And you have to like use the AI of the of the bad guys to it's kind like, of figure it out. Yeah, like yeah, that would be crazy. Yeah. Are there any other twenty six hundred games with in game level editors like mm. this? Um. Yes, what is it? There is another one with a level editor in it. Damn it, it's not coming to mind. If, uh, Wizard of War, that's it. Yeah. Yes, I'm, I was blanking on that does one. Does it have a, does it have an editor in yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, it does. Yeah, yeah, I like that. Yeah, it's very, very cool. Yeah. Uh, very few, because it's quite an undertaking. It's like a whole other game you have to program. <laughs> a game within a game. This is a great start. Um... Like, I'm sure the uh, enemy editor is going to be fairly simple. It's just like, put a, a flashing pickle or something there. Mm. Like, put the, actually the enemies on the screen. Oh, where they start? Where they start. And yeah. you just move and toggle them on and off. Spiceware did one for Bosconian. Um, mm. Boulder Dash not doesn't? In, mm. Bosconia didn't have an in-game editor. Mm. What you did is you had, you edited a text file. And then it had a merge program, like you edited the text file on your computer. And then you merged, you ran a uh, program, and it would spit out a bin file for you to play it. Mm. So technically it did yeah. have one. Mm. Um, the 2600 version of Load Runner does not have a level editor, mm. unfortunately. Other versions might, though? Yeah, other yeah, versions other do. Versions do. Yeah. But uh, I think we're talking about 2600. Yeah, it takes a significant uh, amount of RAM to have a lead of a editor. It does. But you have to keep all of this in memory. So old school games wouldn't have that because they wouldn't have uh, the memory. Maybe um, Star Pass Supercharger games because mm. they have a bit of memory. 6K? Six, 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 uh, of No, that's ROM. I can't remember how much uh, RAM they had. Okay, here we go. Uh, excellent game as per usual. Uh, it's really, really fun. Obviously, I've gotten much better at it now. Mm. Um, I can't remember if there's uh, mm. any options uh, for different difficulties. Splendid Nut, can you chime in on that? Because I didn't make a note of that, unfortunately. Mm. 8K, 6K would have been insane. Yeah, 6K of RAM. That would be. Um, but I mean, on like the Uno card and stuff, they have crazy amount of... Um, like, like, no options for difficulty no, yet. Oh, no yeah. A or B. Okay. Yeah. Cool. So, we shall move on to the next game. Oh, this cat is so cute. He is so cute. Can't you can't see him. can see him. No, he's, he's all just out floppy of frame. and soft. So warm. Warm and floppy. Now he's angry because I was touching his belly. Oh. Oh, so angry. So, if you want to load up immunity, please. Okay. Yeah, great game, Splendid Nut. Please continue. Keep going on with it. Yeah, this deserves a, a cart release. Yeah. 
Coming soon. Immunity. By Mike Lush. So this is uh, an exclusive update for us update? on the show. Cool, cool. Um, let me get to my notes here. So thank you so much, Soul, S-O-H-L. Um, uh, his real name's Mike Lush. This uh, build is from November 26th. Um, last time we played it was January 4th, earlier this year. Um, this is a 16K game. He also made 2048 uh, for VCS. Um, so this game now has two-player support. Um, I'm going to get another controller. Good night, the D-Train. Thanks for joining. Good night, the D-Train. Which controller shall I use? Sprite says good night. Yeah. Oh. Hi. Oh, you're mad. Yeah. Are you mad? <laughs> oh, sweet. Oh, baby cat. He's so soft. But we'll play single player first, because they're, I think they're quite different games. Mm. Our cat demands belly rub so he can scratch and bite the hell out of you. I don't think he's angry, but he just craves human <laughs> flesh. Vampire oh, cats. funny. Um, yeah. Atari can pet his belly. Um, this guy is okay for, to a point. Okay. You annoyed? You're annoyed. Oh, you're so annoyed. Oh, he's so warm. Okay. Uh. Let's get into it. Immunity, gameplay rules, and scoring. So he's made an instruction sheet now. Um, disclaimer, intended functionality almost implemented, but not guaranteed bug free yet. Mm, still still doing some bug. Oh yeah, he's still working on it. So game overall, health starts at 96%, max health is 99%. 100% is not allowed. Uh, gameplay starts into in the intercellular mode screen. Game ends if death, in death if health reaches zero. Mm. A uh, game ends in death if antibodies reach zero with unkilled viruses present, present. or available. Can't. Game ends in immunity if viral load reaches zero with at least one antibody available. Viral load is the number of available viruses that can attack and latch onto cells, may be visible or waiting off screen. Breath count and status area indicates how long a player managed to survive or how quickly immunity is won. Nice. Uh, game difficulty is controlled by the left difficulty switch. Um, it doesn't say what the switches should be set to, but okay. I'm guessing B is the beginner, as yeah. per usual. Um, uh, so in the beginner, which we're going to play, a viral load starts at 9. Okay. Antibody supply starts at 12. Okay. Uh, vitamin molecules, energy molecules, vRNA, and free viruses in and out cell move slower generally. B is for beginner. Oh, Mike Sol's here. Excellent. Hey. Okay, start it up. So, Tanny's controlling. I forget what I'm doing. Uh, you get those things. Get them all. There you go. So, your health is at 96%. Your breaths are at 3 or 4. Ugh. 5. I guess that's your score. What am I, So, I've already forgotten. Get those things. I don't know. I, I cannot remember. I'll try and remember. You do want that E to go to your side thing, I, I think. Oh. It's vitamins. I remember hey, that. Hey, Naughty Cat! What's the E? Um, let me read about this. Screen ends when there are no more available vRNA strands. Implanted vRNA has all expired, so V, the V's coming down, or vRNA? Or those are. Viral RNA. Viral RNA. Yeah. Uh, player controls the free ribosome up and down along the left or right edge of the screen. Player can shoot free ribosome rightward or leftward through the cytoplasm across the screen. Pressing fire will scrunch the ribosome to get ready to shoot. When releasing, the fire button will let the ribosome uh, go. Moving the joystick while free ribosome is shooting will not affect direction. Free ribosome shooting speed is based on energy level 0 to 4, with higher levels being faster. Am I supposed to get those red things that come off of it? Or? Uh, we'll get there. <laughs> uh, uh, when there are no infection or good objects up near the outer edge of the free membrane, the free ribosome can bump the outer cell membrane by player moving it. Oh, did something good. 
and finish the level. Okay, I shoot that shot at those things. That thing takes three hits. Not doing well there. One more. Hit it. Maybe you can't anymore. No, you can't. Go up, press up now. Oh. And then go to the right and press the button. There you go. That's right. So you have to shoot it three times before it implants itself. Game over. <laughs> I've forgotten how to play that, but no, I, 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 it's all coming oh, back to me Oh, Mike says now. get the red things, yeah. Get the red things. Get them, okay. Uh, if successfully bumped, the membrane moves and latch viruses stretch and cytoplasm colors goes white for a moment, then a batch of spike proteins shaken free from the latch virus will appear in the cytoplasm. Yeah. The batch of loose spike proteins will include one to four particles, According mm. to energy levels, one through four. Mm. It's a complex game. Yeah. Well, there's a lot of instructions. I don't think I, it's I, actually I a complex game. I vaguely remember it. Yeah, but yeah. The free ribosome can collect vitamin molecules mm. by touching them while shooting or along the side. When close to a vitamin or loose spike protein, free ribosome will open into a chomping pose. Yeah. Well, that's on the second part. Yeah, the, the first part, yeah. Uh, consequence of the graphics kernel using the drawing objects, the main portion of the free ribosome color will match the color of the current good objects, which may be a vitamin molecule, energy molecule, or loose spike protein. So it's just saying color doesn't yeah, matter. Yeah. Killing each of the e vRNA strand or free virus expends one vitamin level, reduces health by two. What? Killing each vRNA strand. Or a free virus. So you don't want to kill vRNA? Well, no, I think you do because you, you need to kill them reduces health by two percent by two that's that's odd that your health goes down by killing vrna killing each free virus when the vitamin level is low may reduce energy level by one killing a free virus will cause the free ribosome to bounce backwards from the collision killing each free virus will loosen one to four spike proteins in a batch my god each virus that escapes adds to the viral load and decreases health by three. Yeah, so you want to you want to kill the viruses. You want to kill everything on the screen? Yeah, I think so. Each virus that escapes adds, uh, where is he, up to three vRNA strands can be implemented. Um, when the vRNA strand expires, its space opens up again for other vRNA strands to implant there. Uh, you can collect four, four vitamin molecules. energy molecule must touch the mitochondrial and the lower sides of the playful to be absorbed and raise the energy level. So, says so you, you don't want to catch the energy molecule. Oh, you don't? The thing that you push around, the E? Is that what it is? Oh, the free ribosome may bounce the energy molecule into a better, better vertical position to be absorbed. So you bounce it around. It says you need vitamins to not take a penalty when yeah. you kill vRNA. Okay. You bounce it down to the mitochondria. Gotcha. To the bottom. Tanya knows more about this. So, <laughs> so she's understanding the science part of this. Well, this is like... I, yeah, I do know. Going all over my head. Endoplasmic reticulums and all that fun stuff. Yes. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Let me play and you help me. <laughs> you help me. You might need to read an immunology book. I do know immunology. I just don't know exactly what is so I have to represented. Get that? Yeah, you want to get before it implants. So I have to get that? You want to bounce that to the mitochondria there. To, to where I am? There. There okay. you go. You got more energy. And I want to get that. And you want to catch the red stuff. And you want to catch that before it goes to the bottom. Basically catch everything and bounce the Even E to that? the bottom. That's the vitamins. You want I, vitamins? No. So everything. Just yeah. get everything. Yeah, get everything. Good job. Oh, what? Did I die? No, did you? Yeah, it just like went beep. Oh my god, my, you have no my health? health is at zero. Why is my health at zero? Why was your health so low? My health is, my health starts at zero. What? You have to bounce the energy first? No, that's that's a bug. The penalty is now minus four if you lack vitamins killing the RNA, so you need to get vitamins for it first. No, that was a bug. My you health think? is yeah, my health started at zero. There, so that's, you want that down at the bottom there. Right. Let that go blink. 
Now you want to get the virus, and you want to get that. There you go. Okay, okay. So what does the E give you? It gives you energy, and you want energy. Like, does it give you more heart? What does oh, it say you get minus, minus four, because you have no vitamins. Oh, you missed the vitamin. Oh, I have to get a vitamin first. Yeah. So if I don't get a vitamin, I just shouldn't even bother? Yeah, you want more vitamins, I think. It was dysentery. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You have died. Died from dysentery immediately. <laughs> the final boss is a dissertation. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Weird, says Mike Soul. That must be a bug. Yeah, that was definitely odd. Yeah, it just, it didn't mm. remember to reset it after I died. It just started at zero. That's okay. I pressed reset and it gave me all my health back. Vitamins. Yum! Oh, no! It goes off the screen! It doesn't bounce off the walls. More vitamin. Oh, God. Oh, no! 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 <laughs> there you go. That takes a chunk of health out of you, I think. Get over on that side. Now. There you go. Get it? Vitamins! I'm Yay! full of vitamins. Are you? Yeah, four at the top. Oh, good. <laughs> Mike so laughed at that comment. The final boss is a dissertation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. In, uh, virology. Immunology. Vitamins! Hey! I touched it! Oh my god, wait! Oh, I'm full? Am oh, I yeah. full maybe, of vitamins? Maybe. I do have four. Mm. I have three Get of it. those, and I have four of those. Four health? Four yep. vitamins? Yeah, yeah. Full. enough. My body can absorb no more vitamins. I am peeing yellow. <laughs> or peeing whatever color the vitamins are. <laughs> Look at all like those fluorescent points. yellow pee. Yeah. yeah. Fluorescent yellow. Yeah. Our 70 says four vitamins is kind of a lot. <laughs> <laughs> hey, my health's at 99. Didn't you never met my grandmother, Mike Soul. <laughs> she used to take, I'm not joking, she would take like a low ball glass fill it with vitamins and down them like she'd oh swallow God. them all in one gulp she was wow. she was a very strong proponent proponent <laughs> of vitamins taking a lot of vitamins yeah. she did live to 99 so, so she, there may be something to it maybe <laughs> um but yeah she'd put it in a glass and without water just swallow it what I, i'm not joking I, wow. i've seen her do this <laughs> She just got so used to taking no her pills. No water after either? No, she would just Ugh, right so down. Dry. Look at all Amazing. those hearts. Amazing. Yeah. Ah, no, it's getting implanted. No. Good night, 8-Bit Poet. Good night, 8-Bit Poet. Yeah. Thank you for joining us. I always miss them. Getting yeah. implanted. You do need energy, I think, to... Or energy or vitamins to do that. Bloop. To eat the arm. Chased with pickle juice. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, vitamins. No! No! Oh, no! There's three at the bottom now. Mm. Vitamins. Come on. Get it. Four. Yeah, you always get minus four if you don't have vitamins. Vitamins. Oh. So you kind of don't want to get them when you don't have enough vitamins. I well, see. Maybe. Does, does it eat your vitamins? I don't know. Or energy. Vitamins? I think vitamins, because I had some and then I don't have any now. What are those? What is that? A, B? F, B? What does that mean? A, B? Points? I don't know. One, 
Oh, lots of energy. Full energy. Yeah. Antibody. Antibodies. Oh, okay. oh, so you're getting lots of antibodies. Gotcha. That's what gets you through this level. You need to shoot the antibodies. Oh, no. Come on. Oh. Shoot. Nom, nom, nom. nom. I love the Pac-Man. I do, too. They come down really fast sometimes. This is the second level. Yeah, I forgot I forgot how this works. It takes a sec. It takes a second. It's not that hard. You mean it won? <laughs> what? I won. You burn a vitamin for each vRNA kill. Okay, so the, the oh, RNA that comes down. Okay. Gotcha. Okay, that makes sense. American bandstand. So how do we get to the hard level? Go to A, right? I'm guessing. Let's try the hard level. Mm -hmm. So I, I can't even get it um, no. when they're coming down because no. I have no you vitamins. Need, you need energy. You need energy, right? And vitamins. You have to get that. Yeah. Still have no vitamins. There. Good job. No. No. Oh, there's a vitamin. Get something. Get it. Oh, it's so slow. Oh, bouncing off everything. This is very different than the beginner. Oh no, it went away. Yeah. Guess you have to... Oh my god. Get it. Oh, oh you've got to get those viruses. You need antibodies. Oh, I can't. Oh, can't do anything. gotcha. You have no energy. You still haven't... You have no energy. You can't get them until you get energy. Oh my god. Get the, get the vitamins, though. Is that why not a pack? Ah, oh, your avatar moves slower in hard mode. It looks like it. Good game. Oh, yay, congrats. Oh, come on. Our energy. Yay, I've got some energy. I and can do some things. Oh, come on. Get it. Oh. oh. Get it. Oh, now I. Yeah. Bounce it. There you go. There we go. Whoa, whoa. This is much crazier in, um... Yeah, they bounce around a lot more. Oh my goodness! Get that vitamin! Get it good! What happened to the vitamin there? There you go, you got one finally. Get the E! Get the E! Oh, fell down. There oh, you go. got that accidentally. Full of vitamins now. Ready to take them on. Oh, so dodgy. Yeah, they really don't want to get eaten up. Can't eat any more vitamins. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, come on. Oh, yeah. You're losing yeah. health, though. There. Well. That box off. He's fine there. There you go. There you go. Oh, get some vitamins. Now, we, now you're going to have to pee every three minutes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, get in there! What? Good job. Getting the antibodies. Nice. Getting the antibodies. Oh, it's slow now again. Is oh, it? Because I have no energy. Oh, funny. Oh, I like one. that. Get oh. up. Get it. Bounce it. Bounce it down. Good oh, job. It's getting there. No energy so again. Slow. I think it uses up more resources on yeah. the hard mode. I think you're right. Because I was like full, 4-4 four, four every yeah. time. Oh. In hard mode, you lose energy faster. Yeah, mm. you do. Quite fast. Oh, <gasps> Missed oh it. there's one. Oh, almost. Come on. Get over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, there we go. There you go. Knock those antibodies. I'll get both at once. Yeah, 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 no, 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 no! Oh, no. He escaped. Still got good health, though. Good job. Heart, heart, oh my god, oh my health just went way down because I Cause of did so viruses. badly. Yeah. yeah. Got lots of antibodies, though. Oh, in B mode, if you have any vitamins, you don't lose energy when killing viruses. Oh. Uh, Yeah. 
eat it. Good oh. job. Thank you. Well, they're not really swerving. They're just going straight down, which makes it pretty easy. Oh, this one's moving a bit. Okay. Suddenly move fast. Yay. Yay! Health is back! Get the health back! This is... it. It It's got a lot of lore, if I want to say it. Yeah, I like it. I like um, it. On the surface, Yippee. it's not that hard to understand once you are playing it. Um, but um, I think the instructions could be simplified, if anything, like to make it more understandable to the, the layperson. I think the instructions will likely come with visuals too. Yeah, and I that'll think help a lot. When it's lot. like catch the V, yeah. you know, and then hit the E to the mitochondria, and you have a description because reading visual. it is hard. Oh, it's so hard. to know what it is. But I think with a nicely laid out um, oh, manual, I think it would be fantastic. Yes. Because then it's very clear what you're doing, you know, in the game. So. Um, Energy. It's very cool. I mean, you, you get you get the hang of it pretty quick. You though. do. You figure you, it out. Yeah, after yeah. you figure it out and you go, oh, I need this for yeah. this and I need this for this. So there's a lot of moving parts. Oh, I'm bouncing in between things. Oh, I'm stuck. <laughs> I got stuck in between the viruses. Oh, no. no. Oh, I think I'm going to die on this. Oh. Come on. No, it's so hard on this level to get the ease where you want them to go. Good job. I'm going to have to smash them and keep them keep them in line. Oh, good. Still no energy. Oh, I'm stuck. Can't do get anything. Out, get your no, <laughs> I missed it. Well, I'm almost full of vitamins. I guess that's good. I still have no energy. There we go. Uh, Come on. Do any of the usual Atari age artists do medical illustrations? Ah. <laughs> Not sure. Oh, I could have got that, but I was busy. Come on, come on, come on. No! Oh, just enough energy for that. I'm full of vitamins. What? I can yeah. just direct it off the screen? Mike Soul, that's my idea. <laughs> yeah, Mike Soul says, yes, I want to have a nicely worded and nicely designed graphic, graphical manual. Yeah. yeah. I think I think that would be really, That'll be really, really, really amazing. Helpful. Damn yeah. it. I remember when I was in university. You went right through the V? Oh, you have enough. I can't. Yeah. Um, when I was in the university, they had, they actually had a program at U of T. Yeah. That, um, Medical illustration. Yeah, and it was for Somebody it was it was a it. it was like a master's program for people with a fine arts degree, and then they would oh. they would they would take all the um, anatomy classes. Oh wow! And I was like, that That's is so cool. <laughs> I thought, yeah, I'm not an artist, but that would be such a cool program for someone who was a fine artist like yeah. to learn to do medical illustrations for books and for i mean at that time a lot of stuff would have been in print not online but yeah i just thought that was really cool come on come on e get over there what is the winning condition for this for this uh you need to get enough antibodies i think to move on to the next round is it and then you use the antibodies to kill the the viruses in the next round how do you know where that is? I'm full of energy. Yay! Okay. I got there. Yeah. Oh, it's antibodies? The AB? Oh no, it's building up now. Like so. Not many games like this. Microsurgeon on the television yeah. comes to mind. Yeah. Oh, I'm almost one. Antibodies yeah. are almost at the top. Yeah. I'm around, I think. I've beaten the hard level. <laughs> this might be difficult. This one might They're be faster. They're moving it, moving quite a bit faster. Oh, so funny. Good job. It's great to have like these games where it's two in one game, 
where you get a bit of a reprieve and you get to play a totally different game. This one's a lot easier, this part. Oh, man. Antibody's on way down. Nice. Oh, I can get that. Oh, no, I can't. I don't have a These. Yeah. You'll, you'll lose health if hurt you my, do that. Hurt myself. Yeah. Oh, I still want to be. Now yeah. I do. There's a but v. you don't start with any Vs, so it's no. kind of hard to get those first ones. Ooh, I need that. No! No! Oh, just in time. Ooh, another V. Oh, got it. Oh, can I get it? Got it. I'm out of Vs. No! Oh, no! Oh, my health. Oh, my poor health. I love it. <laughs> Carl G, I respect a good original game concept like this. This is Me original. Too. Like, there is absolutely nothing like this. Not even in the gameplay. It's very unique. Like, forget the concept behind it, but like just the the way it plays is so different. So slow, I have no energy. Oh, I can't do anything. I need ease. <laughs> I'll take that. Oh, so slow. Come on, V. Oh, no. I still have some health left. 53. Yeah. Oh, God. I need more. Yes. No. The later tissue types have different oh. virus, virus motion patterns. Yeah, I remember that from the last time we played. Oh, yeah, yeah. That, that the viruses move differently. Yeah. Yeah, oh, it is I'm unique. Almost dead. I like it. Oh, no. Well, the get last it. level was really, nom, really nom. hard. I couldn't get any energy. Get him. Oh, oh no. Get back here. No. Oh, no. That one was just too dodgy. Just dodgy me. Oh, so far. Oh, you're dead. Flatline. <sighs> Game over. Okay, let's try out the two-player mode. Mm -hmm. um, so, November 6th added two-player support. Demo with two-player mode is posted. It's a bit rough around the edges. You may see some scan line counts and a few spot uh, count issues. And viruses sprite sometimes only partially visible when low. When on the immunity title screen... Anyway, my condolences. So it's Carl G. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my. How do we do this? It came up when you died. Yeah. The option screen. Um. La, 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 la. You see a one or a two. La, la. Gameplay for two players is described above in my previous posting in the in the listing. So let me go to that. Basic idea for two player game is the left and right players take turns controlling the ribosome at the bottom or the infecting viruses in the exocellular gameplay modes. Okay. Player controlling the ribosome moves left and right and flings antibodies upward, hopefully to cover the attacking virus, as in the one player game version. I've not decided yet to leave. I have not decided yet to leave the microphage gobbler mechanics in or automatically remove the covered and therefore neutralized virus. The player controlling the viruses may move them sideways at various speeds depending on the tissue type, but generally slower than arrive zone. If the player does not press the joystick in the upper left right direction, both viruses move in the same direction. If the player does move the joystick in the upper left upper direction left to right, the higher viruses will move in that direction while the lower viruses move in the opposite direction. If the player pulls the joystick downward in any direction, the viruses move straight down, but faster than the de default descent rate. Note that the body's breathing affects virus vertical movement in two tissue types, while pulse affects virus horizontal movement in two other tissue types. I have the two-player scoring display basically done as seen in the screenshot, unless I want to make it fancier. Each player has two-digit score, the left player is yellow, right player is turquoise green. Uh, this is crazy. Uh, let's get it started and uh... we'll get it. We'll get used to it. Yeah. One controls the virus, the other controls the the host. 
Or the ribosome? The ribosome. Okay. Press button. Okay. Are you controlling the virus? Yep. Oh god, I'm terrible at this. I think you should do... I think you should control <laughs> the ribosome. I am not good at this game. Okay. No? Oh my god, you have to get it five times? Can you go down fast? Yep. Oh, A little God. bit. Run, run, run. Run, run, this run, run. This is so run. hard. Run, 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 run. It's not going well. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it, it's... When I'm at the bottom, I can move, like, super fast. Yeah, dead. <laughs> <laughs> that was fast. I'll be very nice. What's going on? I don't know. Oh, we switched. What? I'm I'm controlling the viruses again. Oh, oh let's it flipped. Okay. As I go after that one, there's no way I can get that. I know by playing. There's no way I can get you when you're on the bottom. So I'm not actually controlling the downflow. Uh, you can a bit. It he says it goes with the breathing. It moves faster. Come back here. No, no, no. I don't seem to be controlling it all that much. There we go. Ugh. So it's, hard to it's hit. It's weird. I'm moving really slow. Yeah, you move really fast at the bottom. <laughs> There's no way I do, can do, get do, it. Do, 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 do. You can't get me. <laughs> no, I cannot. <laughs> There's no way. I think it needs to... My soul is like, no, no, keep your controls. So if I, if you press down, it goes fast down. Like I can move up and down a bit. Yeah, I would suggest... Left, right? Oh, what did I do? It crashed. It's, it's still a work in progress. Oh, no, that's cool, though. I like that. I like how that it flips back and forth, actually. Yeah. Very nice. Um, let's play a tiny bit more of yeah, that. I think we should. On the two-player mode. RC70 likes the orange screen of death. <laughs> Oops. Orange screen of death's nice. It's I nice like color. that. Yeah. Okay, press button. Press button. Mm -hmm. Basically, the tactic is to get to the bottom as quickly as possible while dodging you. I mean, that is the whole... How do I, how do I get there? Okay, sideways. Because once you're at the bottom, you got it. Oh, my God. Zoom, zoom. Yeah, Mike, I would definitely slow down this guy or, or, when you're at or, the bottom. Or the thought, my thought, Yeah. Um, not be able to control him at the bottom. Right. Just control the ones yeah. at the top. So that once you're at the bottom, he just does whatever his normal movement is? No, I don't mind moving it. Hey. Pointless. Pointless. Once you're on the bottom. Just pointless. Way too fast. Come on. Get on there. Oh, no! Nom, nom. <laughs> No, I can't really control this guy very much. No, it's hard. He kind of floats, and then yeah. it's not until you're at the bottom. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Nope, <laughs> nope, nope, nope. Oh my god, it's so hard. Difficulty changes speed of the virus somewhat. Okay. Oh, we're on the... We're on the hard? Yeah. Maybe we should be on the beginner then. You probably have to reset. I'm sure it's not dynamic. Okay, press button again. Let's try it on... Um... Which is me. This is me. Near the bottom. Oh, God, I'm still... Oh, yes, it is slower. That's a more reasonable speed. Okay. Never mind, Mike. It's all good. I'm still not doing a very good job here. I hate... I hate the whole... <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> it's like three and you're dead. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh my god. It's hard. But now I can actually hit you. Yeah. But not not in time. It's it's way too hard to defend. It's yeah. just way too hard. It is hard to defend. Like we just dominate whenever we're def attacking. Yeah, I don't yeah. know. I don't know what little it just tweak needs to be would slower. make it easier. Yeah, make the attacking, make the, attacking make the defending faster and the attacking slower. Mm. Well, the attacking slow already. Yeah. But make the defending maybe. I don't know. Too fast is out of control. You don't, you can't go too fast because yeah. then it's just too fast. I think just the attacking slower. Or or maybe the left shooting yeah. player recall their shot if they miss. That would help a that lot. That would help a lot, actually. I mean, in the normal game... I like it better when leave, you lose it. Leave it, it normal. It. Yeah. But in this, maybe recalling would make sense. Maybe. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. It's excellent, though. Stuff. It's so cool. So unique. I really like... So I think the flow of the two screens works really well now. Yep. Between those two. Because Very I think balanced. last time you was, had to it was lose to a certain point to get to the second screen. Yeah. And you kind of want to get to the second screen, so it works really well now, Mike. Yeah, I very think that's really, balanced. really good. I it's, think it's almost there. I, I, no, it's yeah. I, yeah, that that first one, um, the single player is awesome. I think the single yep. player is really, single player really is good. Single player is perfect. Yeah. I couldn't beat the hard mode, but I beat no. the easy mode. Easy and mode. I think that's that's exactly where you want to be. Yeah. Yep. 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 Uh, okay, it's we really good. are moving on to the last game, Top and Tom 2. Three uh, times, young Tom. Oh, Yay! good timing. Charles. Charles. Oh, what? What was that? The competition going. Yeah. Is it competition again? Oh, he's so excited. This look at, look at that little kitty. Look at him meowing away there. No, I'm not putting them down until I get them ready. Because you just ding it so fast. <laughs> ding, 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 he's ding, like, ding. no, wait, hold on. Here, you put down one, I'll put down the other. What is it? Ready, set, go! Oh, oh Atari takes a one quick, zero. quick lead. 1-0 for Atari. No, I don't hear any dings. Good oh, kitty. There's a good one kitty. one all. Who's next? Oh, <laughs> Sprite pulls ahead. 2-1. Yeah. Come on, Atari. Oh, 3-1. Hit it. Hit it, Atari. You can do it. Oh, oh. no, no, you're too far away. Here, here, there. There you go. 3-2 for, oh. for Sprite. Did he lose it? <laughs> oh, no, he lost it. He, he can see it. He's just trying to get it. <laughs> oh, Sprite's distracted <laughs> by the chaos, <laughs> giving Atari more time. Atari ran off with it because he saw Sprite looking at it. 3-2 for Sprite. Oh, Sprite's still distracted. Oh, he's going for the other bell. Oh, it was weak, but it was there. 4-2 for Sprite. 4-3. Four, 4-3 three. Four, three for Sprite. No, don't run away. 5-3 oh, <laughs> for Sprite. Oh, my goodness. He's in the lead, but he slowed down. Oh, oh, he's missing the bell. Don't miss the bell. He's trying, but he's missing. Oh, he still can't <laughs> get it. He's given some opportunity for Atari. Oh. 6-3. Oh. Atari, you're just being so slow by walking away. Oh, I heard that. 7-3. Huge Atari, lead for Sprite. 7-4. 7, four. seven four. There you go. And he runs off with it again. <laughs> Sprite, yeah. 8-4. Oh, 8-4. Eight, four. Eight, four. Sprite. Yeah, Sprite does not chew the trees. No, Sprite he swallows, swallows them whole. 9-4. <laughs> it is game point. Tari's not doing well in the second round. Oh, there N you go. 9-5. Still game point. He's chewing on the top of the bell. <laughs> Sprite has lost his momentum. Oh, oh 10. 10-5. Ten and a couple of extras for the little Atari cat. There, there we go, baby. <laughs> does Good that show. count when Sprite rings Atari's bell? Yeah, it does. Well, we do let yeah. him take it, but... Then it gets too confusing. Yeah. Yeah. Then they won't understand why they didn't get the treat. Yeah, it's like I rang, I rang the bell. Should I get a treat? So uh, this next game, if you have a uh, plus card, it's yeah. in the public ROM section mm. under uh, works in progress because it's not finished yet. Still uh, being worked on. And you just go to R through Z. Yeah. 
uh, Chitlitla says, reminds me of my dogs. One would take the food outside to eat it. The other would woof <laughs> it down in three seconds, then look at me for the next. Oh, yeah. No. yeah. Okay, so this is uh, by Thomas Yanch. Uh, we last played in November 16th. This build is from November 27th, which is a couple of days ago. It's a 4K game. Number two, right? Yes, we are not in PAL land. Um, so before... Mm -hmm. Oh, he's got a new title screen at the nice. bottom there. Top and Tom, too. Nice. Um, but before we go to this, we're going to try and get some decent scores this time. Okay. Um, and then after we play the scores, we're going to go to a two-player um, version of it. But let's take a look at the oh, why don't i have that up i'll get this up and i know some people in the chat have been playing this in the uh mm. high scores as well there we go open that link um web page that is way too big the rust so the person who made the game is the best at the uh, yeah. game so surprise, far by surprise. far. Uh, let's just say... 79,000. Yeah. So he made it to stage 16. Okay. Uh, Bomberman's in second place. Al's in third. Al! With, uh, tenth level. Nice. Kevin Moss knows uh, how to... Oh, actually, Al knows how to squeeze out the points. Yeah. Uh, with less levels. Mm. Um, then somebody named Mike. Uh, go for 2,600. Nice. And Alan the Fur. And Vitoko. Yeah. 19. Nice. Oh, no, no, wait. I missed it. 16th place. So yeah. we're going. We're. I don't know if we'll beat Thrust, <laughs> but we're going to try we, and beat 45. We know 000. where the high scores are now. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Thrust, I just. Mm. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. Wow. Good luck beating that top score. <laughs> he is cheating, says He's the cheating. <laughs> He knows all the cheat he codes. He knows all the codes. Yeah. <laughs> um, so. Uh. Uh, if you want to play, oh, wow. just the plain old, no bonuses, no anything. No bonuses? That, this is the competition version. No version. bonuses. Okay. No bonuses, basic first level. Yeah, I cannot see There are some scores in the far, other ones, but, but uh, obviously not as many people okay. flick through the different versions. Okay. So, go for it. Now I'll read out the updates. Um, November 22nd update, more cosmetic stuff will be noticeable. Besides that, I tweak the difficulties and ob obstacle generation. And the difficulty now increases per stage, not per time. Also, instead of difficulties 1 through 3, I start decided to use starting stages 1, 5, and 9. Here, I'm not finally sure if I could keep. I should keep that. I only have a few bytes left. Maybe I'll add a pause function or so. So what is left now is some good playtesting. Uh... Besides any bugs, I'm most interested in difficulty, especially if the game is too hard when starting at stage 1 for beginners, and if it's too easy when starting at stage 9 for experts. Uh, since I played a lot during development, I can't exactly judge that anymore. Please have a look at the power-up and shield variations. I put them on difficulty A intentionally because, in my opinion, they make the game harder. Uh, so any feedback is more than welcome. So we'll we'll try those as well. And two-player mode testing is still missing too. Yeah, we had some troubles last time we played this. It was, uh, the system was acting up a little bit, which distracted us. So in this update, uh, version 0.93, I've changed the difficulty ramp up. It should be more linear now. Please let me know if that works. So you're on level one still? Two. Two, okay. I'm not going to get that far, but that's fine. You still got most of your health. Just most of it. I'm just, I'm just not great, but yeah. <laughs> Mike Soul says this is a really cool game mechanic. I, I absolutely like it a agree. lot. Yeah. It's so unique. Now this is a port of a uh, mobile that game jumping. or a... no, no. I can't remember what system it's originally on. I think it's like just a web browser-based game. Oh. I have to look up my notes from before. Sorry about the jumping around. I, I think I can fix that um, in settings, but I'm not going to mess with them this episode. I'm just happy it's not jumping left and right all over the place. Oh. Now you're on level two. No, now you're on level three. Okay. 6,000. You need to get uh, eight times that. Yeah, that's... <laughs> 
Easy peasy. Oh, I can keep running into things. Yeah, I know. I oh, keep doing, like, cutting stuff up. Just cutting myself off there. Oh, you do too get high. a little points oh, if God. you go under, but not anywhere near as much as if you... Oh, go over? I'm doing terrible now. That doesn't help. Glitch I'm not so noticing any jumping of the screen. Well, there's a, a left-right kind of jump a bit. Um, there, it just happened. Maybe it's not coming through on the... I'm going to watch the stream version of this. Maybe you guys can't notice it as much. No, it doesn't seem to be coming through on the stream as badly. Chitletla says, oh, I, I thought it, it was subtle. subtle. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I yeah. think I can just kinda fix goes... that with some more... I saw a slight horizontal yes, jag. That's yes, correct. that's correct. It kind of moves forward and back a tiny bit. Oh, God, jump! Have to go up to go I down. I know, I know. Sometimes I, I don't go down fast enough and then it doesn't jump. Ah, that went all jumpy there. Most difficult pass is through the middle of an obstacle, yes. Oh. Yeah, you can't push it too hard. Only a tiny bit when you want to go through a middle of one. You don't see too many orange middle ones. There's usually either a gap in the bottom, or or not at all. Smack. The middle, our orange middle ones would be quite challenging. Oh, they would be actually. Yeah. Because you would have to um, judge your jump up first oh, and not do too much of a terrible. jump. Terrible. I'm doing terrible here yeah oh you're getting crazy <laughs> and also oh, i'm just jumping too far the amount of health you get taken off yeah is determined by the width of it too so oh the, t the amount of time you're going through it yes the, so the, every so, block of it yeah. takes off a block of your yeah. health so if it's a thin so if, one it's just one but if you cut the edge i'm assuming you're not it's taking off bit. as much yeah. yeah it's just a bit yeah Go up to go down. Sounds like an elevator at conventions where so few available, you just have to go in the wrong direction so you can eventually get where you want to go. Yes, um, that's also a tactic too for our um, light rail here, I guess you could call it. When it's super busy, like at a stadium here, what you can do is you go backwards one. Yeah. And there's nobody on the train and you well, get a seat and then you can go the other way. That's what, yeah. And it's sometimes faster. And if not faster, it's more comfortable. Yeah, because you, you get to seat. Well, yeah. if you want to sit. If you want to oh. sit. Oh, <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. Oh, I'm done. doing terrible. Oh, boy. And you're I knew done that at was 16. dead. 16. It's my first try. That would put you at. Oh, I'm I'm low down, but that's a good that's a good first round. Are you playing next? Yep. Okay. You don't need to tell me where I'm at. That was my first try. Fifteen so. place. Fifteen yeah. <laughs> place, which is pretty good. Eh, I'm, I can do better. I just need to get the feel for it. Yeah. The Toka ah. Tony beat my best score. Well, we did play it not that long ago. Yeah, so um, but it has had a bit I of I do also feel like I can improve on that score, so. I'm, I get a little, I get a little, the moment you get flustered, you get a little, <laughs> you start running into things everywhere, yeah. so. Yeah. Oh, you're jumping over it to get for the higher score. For the small ones, for the big ones, I, I wouldn't bother. I don't want to waste, I don't want to take the risk of losing the health for me, so. Yeah. Uh, hold on, I'm gonna get a new drink. I'll be right back. Okay, bye bye. Yay, in a second, I'll be back. All the cats left. Letting in the cold air. All the cats left, yeah. They got fed and they're done. Oh god, that's a hard sequence. Damn it. Give me some energy. <coughs> oh no. <clears throat> So you get a little bit of energy at the end of each level. Like I would say 10%. Oh, that was a 
dumb jumped. Oh my god. Those high ones are hard. They time it really well. Like, I'm not gonna jump that one because it's just too wide to. It's too dangerous. Sitting in the hall. Aww. He's like, oh, I got the treats. Can you close the door a little bit? It's cold. Oh, he ran away. I was gonna drag the cat in, but <laughs> he's like, nope. He's like, uh, uh I know what you're up to. <laughs> I know your game. You cannot have my fluffiness. <laughs> yeah. Come on, I just want to cuddle. He's just, like, nope, 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 nope. Not a toy. No cuddles. Not a teddy bear. Oh, come on, he looks like one. <laughs> he does. Fluffy Ooh, I should be act back up to full health now. Yep. Yay. Oh, RC70. Just played it for the first time, too. Pretty damn good, eh? Yeah. Hi, Black Kitten. Are you going to come up? I don't have treats for you, but you can show off your big fluffy like, tail. What? Why did he even come in here? Yeah. And gone. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, his brother hear. just ran, ran, ran down the hall, and he went, oh, what is he up to? Must be something good. Like that one? Door, it's gold. Don't go through that one. It's like minus four here. Yeah. Brr. Although I hear, I think other parts of the country are colder, colder. Of so. But that's pretty pretty cold oh, for us. This is hard. Oh, damn it. Oh, yeah. my God. Yeah, it gets harder as you go. Sometimes I wonder if it's better to take the hit than try to avoid a block and hit it square on. Yeah. Uh... I don't know. I think it's the time you spend touching it because it it, yeah. it flashes up, right? So yeah. it's all the time you spend. I, I assume the bigger it is, the more it takes out of you. Yep. 11, so you just have to good. minimize whatever strategy or whatever you're good at. Mm -hmm. You just have to minimize the touching. Damn it! So hard. Doing that one. Or that one. It's just too close. No! Didn't mean to jump there. But I had sometimes time. sometimes you think you have the momentum, but you don't time it quite yeah. right. And then he touch, doesn't go down, you're over. like, oh. Those are the frustrating ones. Oh, good job. Sometimes you don't have enough time once, to build Once up you hit magic. something, the rhythm is dead. Oh. It throws you right off. Yeah, it's Damn true. it. Uh. Oh. Oh, you knew it oh, you're so doing good. hard. You're surpassing me now. Uh, got quite a bit, a bit of health. health. You've got quite a bit of health, though. Yeah, I wasted a bunch there. Uh. Whole bunch. You could you could give Thrust a, a run for his money. Ah, uh, no, he has seven thousand. <laughs> it doesn't keep track of which version because this is hard. Like, oh my god! This might be harder. I mean, he's gonna reset it when um, the game's done. But pe different people are playing on different builds, and some builds were easier than the others. Hard the wide ones. Oh, too high. Oh. I I I yeah. This oh. particular sequence is really challenging. I think. Yeah. Oh. It's so cute though. Ah, oh, it is. Do you think this would play better with a D-pad or a regular joystick? That's Both a good question. D-pad is a shorter throw yeah. because it's only two directions you need yeah. to do. Probably a D-pad be fine. I mean, I, I like joysticks in general for 90% of things, 99% of things. Oh, I'm getting behind. No. Damn it. Oh, it's so crazy. Ah, I caught the corner of that one. I love the rubber band mechanics of this game. Mm-hmm. Oh, 
No! Oh, it's definitely getting harder. Yeah, it is. But they're they're tighter too. Yeah, tighter together. Yeah. You need something like a track and field controller, but for up and down. Oh yeah, that would be perfect. But there is no up and down. You can rewire the pins. <laughs> on the track no, and field. The track control. and field is just two buttons, right? Yeah. Yeah, but you can um, re mm. um, rejig them with some other pins. Wouldn't be that hard actually with an extension uh, cable. Oh my god, I did it backwards. Oh my god, it's getting crazy now. Doing well though. Mm, it's hard. Mm, my health. No, but you're you're doing pretty good. Bad. Score wise. Take a break. Stretch out those hands. Eighth place. <laughs> so far. That's pretty good. Of course, I may disconnect and it may not register, so there's that. Great thing about this game is you can win back your health. Can you? If you do well enough. Yeah. Every, oh, really? Every time you get a little bit of health back. You get a tiny bit back. But good luck getting mm -hmm. back if you didn't do well in the last level. You're not going to do well in subsequent levels. Oh my god. It is getting harder. Oh my god. The width is getting bigger. The more frequent. It's, it's, I find the timing of the t tiny ones close together kills me. Good job. You're at 34. You're getting there. Uh, yeah. 35, 505. But you're at level eight? Uh, uh, sixth Seven. place now. You're at level nine. Level nine. Yeah. Uh, I don't have much health, so. It's okay. Oh, but it's constant now. There's no breaks, which is kind of good. God. Oh, oh man. Don't panic. <laughs> oh, uh, 39. That's excellent. Place. Good job. First game. Wow. <laughs> Pretty that was damn really good. good. I'm not going to hit that. You want another go? Uh, no. <laughs> no? You're not going to go well, again? In a bit. Maybe after we play two player. Okay. Thank Are you, playing nostalgic. Two player two? Yeah. Uh, do you want to play one more or do you want to go to two player? Let's now? do two player. Okay. I can play another one at the end. Now, two player is just automatic. That, I that's believe. not in the high score club, though. Um, no. I don't think so. No, just two player. Too intense. <laughs> Question intense. mark. Yeah. It does get very intense. Yeah. I think it's just automatic. Oh no, Matoka's high score didn't get, his latest best score did get saved. Didn't that mind. sucks. Am I still connected? I don't know. And this is how you die. Oh, it Yay, takes... it did. <laughs> did it? Good. Okay, ready? Yeah. I go up. I go down? No. Yep. I don't 
quite get it, but you have to have a momentum for me to move. Yes, I have to prep you. <laughs> it's gonna take coordination. I'm just waiting for mine. Like I, I use... yes. Yeah, you have to wait for it. I don't know how the joystick works. Oh, sorry. Nope. It's okay. Like the timing. It's still more you. Yeah, I don't really get that. I mean, it, it probably works exactly the same. Yeah, but I, like I can't go up if you don't no, you spring can't. me, so Ugh. yeah. Oh, and you just prevented me from going up. Did I? Yeah. Oh, geez. Okay. And you pull me down as soon as you press it. I pull you down faster. Ugh. Nope. That did nothing. Yeah, you pull me down faster. Yeah, it's weird. <laughs> it's better to do it one player, I think. Can't you press? I think so. I think so. I mean, it's... I don't know if... I think it's just more of a curiosity. It thing. is interesting. I can it's... hold it for oh, me. Oh, can you? Like, I think that's the thing. I can hold it up so I, I, I go further. Oh, Oh, can you? Yeah. I can hold it a little jump. bit. No, 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 no. You, I have to hold. Yeah, I can hold it oh, for longer. Oh, okay. So, that's good. So as so long as I'm in really... the air, yeah. you're fine. Oh, I can't go back down. As, as long as I'm holding it. Yeah. So I have, to, I have to release it. Yeah. I would change that. No, no, I think that really? makes sense. I can't to me. jump in, unless yes. you let go. That makes it more oh, okay. of a two player game. That's true. Oh, not enough. Sorry. That does make yes. it more challenging. It does. It's like, oh, I can't jump, and if I miss it. Yeah. <laughs> it is a crazy game. Next. No, too soon. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Am I should be jumping earlier? Too, no, you're jumping too soon. Oh, too soon. It's, it's tough. Oh. That's hard. When it's right together, because really you have to hard. jump, right? Yeah, and I can't jump till you let go. Oh my god! That's really that hard. is really hard. Yeah, too soon. <laughs> it takes a lot of coordination between the two people to understand when to do it. Learning to be in perfect harmony this mode seems to be more intimate than it is. <laughs> it's a very intimate game with two players. I don't know if it's easier or it's the exact same skill. Because it is the same game that it we're is. playing. There's no, we didn't set an option for two players. It's just kind of an automatic thing. That was not early enough for you. I'm waiting to the last minute to jump. So if you jump too soon, then I don't have any momentum. I know. And that's the thing. When you're doing it yourself, you time it yourself, right? But when another person is responding, if you do it a little too soon, I'm pushing down too late. Yeah. It's hard it with two hard. people. It's really hard to coordinate. <laughs> I don't know if it's... I don't know if it's worth it. Mm to do two know. players it's interesting it's interesting but it's i, so I prefer the single player mode it's, it's so interesting challenging my goodness um yeah i'm not a fan of the two player i like the the, the single player feels more organic somehow what are you playing switching it up. so you can start on level one five or nine interesting and in between there's like the one two three yeah and I can't remember what those are. Ooh, reminds I think me those of Trans are Europe Express by Kraftwerk, the music. I think those are maps. Yeah, I think you're right. So if I start at nine, let me just try nine. Because I did make it up to that. Sure. 
I do want another. Or did I make it up to that? Shot at. Yeah. yeah, you just did, didn't you? Oh, maybe. Yeah. I must have. I guess. It's nice you can practice at, yeah. at a higher level if you're struggling, right? Yeah, and then you can start at zero and it's, oh my god. <laughs> it's not easy. No. Catching the edges. I know. Oh the edges. my god. The tall ones are so hard. Jumping too late. And you go forward as well. Each level pushes you a little bit forward yeah, to the right. Yeah, I noticed right. that. So you have less time to respond. Yeah. Which is very smart. It is. Very it's smart. It's a way of, of ramping up the difficulty. Yeah. <laughs> Unlike the two-player... <laughs> um, Nostalgic, you. what did you make? He said he made it. Made what? I don't know. Made made what? The high score? Did you did you beat Thrust? Whoa. You've been playing this whole time? Yeah. Uh, oh, I did it in time. Good. You have to jump quite early to get those tall ones. Or are you saying we made it? <laughs> I don't know. You didn't make it anywhere. No. <laughs> Does this mean there's a kill screen eventually? Uh, there must oh, be a, a top out. Oh, on the right edge, unable to react. Yeah, maybe there is a maximum. I bet there's no, a James maximum. No, James made it through level two, nine. Okay, you oh, were saying. I, I thought okay. I, th I thought for a second you were playing along and you like you like hit level twenty or something. Um, so stage one nine track one. Yeah. Yeah, I'm in first place in that one. <laughs> But quite a bit, because our only one person played it besides me. Oh, okay, very nice. We'll go back to level one. Yeah, I just want another we'll shot. Some... Yeah, I'm not. I don't know. Sixteen was pretty good. I'll see. Oh, I have trouble getting. In between the, um... Oh. Hi, kitties. Come here. I'm cold. I'm gonna have some hot chocolate after this. We cuddle with some cats. <gasps> Cat cuddles! Hi. Oh, they've opened oh, the door! Cats. It's freezing! Minus four outside kittens. I'll open it so they don't push it open anymore. Sorry. If Thrust made this, I assume the horizontal position is asymptotic because he's who I learned the word from. <laughs> asymptotic. I, I don't know what that word means. It means it's following the asymptote. <laughs> asymptote. Okay. Never, never hit zero. Mm -hmm. Never hit zero. If it's, on the curve. If you if you graph something, if yes. it's on the asymptote, it, it never actually. It never actually hits zero at like. Oh, yeah. okay. Anyway, but how does I, that? I it's been a long time since I've <laughs> looked at graphing like that. Yeah, too high. There you go. Those jumps are difficult. Um, at least they give you a bit of room. Oh, good. So does anybody have um, video game related things on their Christmas oh, wish yeah. list? On mine is um, 
Nano Chess's programming book for the 2600. Um, did I ask for anything else video game related? I'm going to ask for... Um, let me see my list. Ah, MetaQuest 2, RC70 says his wife got him. MetaQuest 2, what is that? And remember, if you... Type it in the chat. You can point your significant other <laughs> to the chat. Just just find the time on the YouTube channel That's and just right. say I, if you're wondering what to get me. Yeah. It's immortalized forever on YouTube. Oh, a magnetic <gasps> screwdriver set for video game consoles because Nintendo uses strange screws. Um, they use a tri-wing screw. Just out of curiosity, would there be a reference to exactly where you would find that somewhere? I should <laughs> I should look it up. Ah, uh, because because there's a lot of them. I yeah, uh, Santa might not know exactly where <laughs> to pick up something like That's that. That's true. So. Santa has limited resources. Yeah. And time. <laughs> um, there's there's probably cheaper and more complete magnetic sets than the. Um, What's his name? That keeps hawking it. The guy who lives here. Super famous. Oh, uh, Linus? Yeah, Linus Tech Tips. Linus, Linus. Linus yeah. Tech Tips. Yeah, he has one, but it's very expensive. Mm, so okay. I've, I've, I'm sure it's very good, but yeah. it's like it? over $100 Canadian. It's very expensive. Oh. Um, an EverDrive GBA Mini. Um, yeah, that's it. I don't want any more video games. I've got lots. <laughs> don't have more room. And um, now I've now completed all the consoles I want. Yeah. I have with the 5200 now all modded and the links being repaired again or Good. upgraded and then now repaired. It died on the way here for some reason or just died. I don't know. But it's being repaired as we speak. That's good. Um, yeah, I've got all the consoles I need, and plus uh, someone that I haven't revealed yet, but it probably will reveal in the new year. I've given hints, but I don't have it in my hands, so therefore it doesn't exist yet. Mm. Um, I better she had the worst score. Oh, Oculus. Oh, it's an, mm, yeah. Is that uh, MetaQuest 2 is for the Oculus, or ah. Oculus is a separate thing that Request. you want? Uh, I managed to get the worst score. Um, well, just dying immediately is probably... Uh, well, you're still doing okay. You're going to be no, trolled score. No, my health score. is not very good. But you're going to be trolled score. Mm. It was 15, right? Or was 16, it 19? 16, I think. Ah! You'll beat that. You'll beat that. Uh, oh, oh, maybe. What is happening? Oh, what stop! Is... Oh! I shouldn't have said that you'd beat it. <laughs> no, I told you, don't say that. I should say you're doing terrible. I am oh doing terrible. God. Except that would be true. <laughs> so just don't say anything at all. Uh, Nostalgic says, my wish list would be homebrew and special equipment, which means no one would know where to get them. Yeah. That's why you have to give URLs for people so they know exactly where to get them. Exactly. Oh, God. The long ones are killing me. Yeah, those are tough. Of course, there's like specialty video game stuff that you can't get, oh, that it's hard to find, and then you just don't put that in your list. That's like for you to find. Yeah, it's true. Vitoko also got the worst score in Raptor. Hey, it's something. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes it's hard to get a low score. <laughs> the, true. I, there are, I believe, like speed runs, low score speed runs. Like, how can you get through the game? in a winning condition with the lowest score. Like, yeah, don't yeah. kill enemies like, a, like a, a pacifist run. Oh, I love... Pacifist runs can be really friggin' hard. Yeah, because you have oh. to kill some things. Yeah. Or be really good at dodging them. I also like that they're called pacifist runs. <laughs> it's a good name. It is. Uh, good one. Nice jump. The problem is that if it's not as Amazon, not on Amazon, some people might not bother. Yeah, I bet people are so used to Amazon now. They're like, eh, 
I just buy things on Amazon. Oh, it's some weird store and I have to sign up my name and I have to give them my address. Can I just click one button and it comes to my door net tomorrow? Yeah. People, but Amazon, I've been hearing more and more things. It might be just a media anti-Amazon Amazon campaign. campaign. Yeah. It's hard to know. Well, but I'm anyway, doing better. I'm doing I completely better. agree with all of these things that I've <laughs> read and watched about Amazon, that it's so full of third party. Oh, it's garbage. Garbage. You um, don't know what's real and what's fake and what's going to work. And I was listening to an excellent podcast about the state of uh, search engines. Of course, we're on Amazon streaming, so... <laughs> uh, state it's of, great. of search Bezos, engines all hail him. Uh, yes. and how Google basically corners the market. There's so yes. few of them and that they think that's one of the reasons why search engines are getting worse, that there's very little competition. There's no motivation to make searches better. Right. And so often people complain when they're even in Google, even in Google, that you search for something and you're getting responses, but you're looking for a website, but you're getting ads. And they were talking uh, all about the mechanism in Google. Yeah. And then um, also in Amazon, how you search for something and people just gain the algorithm. Oh, yeah. It's just trash. And everywhere. you get a, a whole bunch of crap you don't want. Um, but yeah, it's funny you mention it because they were talking all about. Yeah, you really need to. The monopolies know. on search engines now. Well, yeah, like even like the search engine in Amazon, yeah. it's the same thing. The search engines are garbage. Well, they used to be amazing. I didn't know that, but they have a monopoly on trolling. I, it's not the right term. Yeah. Um, uh, but not trolling sites, but they, you have they have to sites have to give Google access so that they can cache or search what's contained on them. Mm, it's more like by default they have access. No, they don't. Google arranges it with whatever internet providers what? to be able to do it mm. so you can't just create a search engine and have access to everything to what's the term it's, it's, not cash oh it's crawling crawl that's yeah. it so so apparently there are restrictions on people crawling sites and google has almost a monopoly to be able to do that tana just got the second yeah. zph best girl. yay <laughs> <laughs> um anyway i'd I, have to read about that but i'm not certain about that it i was, don't understand the to, mechanics of it but it used to be an opt out mechanism if they changed it to opt in that would be devastating for indexing the internet but this is the thing they were saying that that google really has kind of a monopoly on on accessing that information Anybody so that's why it. you don't see new search search engines coming up mm. And I'm, I'm probably not explaining it properly, so Maybe please not. don't quote me, but it was a very, very interesting that podcast. wrong. It's not, though. It's how many how many search engines do you know of? Well, there are, there are a number of them. And I mean, their market share is teeny tiny. Oh, yeah, it, because, you know, they used to be not as good as Google, but um, maybe if Google's not doing their job... Well, um, but they, but they were basically over. saying that you can't just create a search engine now. Okay. You can't just create it. You can't just crawl sites. There actually requires more permissions to be able to do that. And Google has arrangements okay. to be able to do that. That could be a European uh, law because Europe has a lot of uh, protections on the Internet. And other than Microsoft, and there's one in China... Right. Um, like there's like three major companies that that actually take the market share of searching. Um, anyway, there's a little search engine like I like to use aims for non-commercial stuff. Yeah, these big ISPs are sharing their cash with Google directly. As soon as they find something new, that could be a thing. I think. Yeah, and and like I said, I don't want to. Don't quote me. I don't understand the mechanism of it. But they were basically saying you don't see new search engines because mm. because of access okay. and um and then yeah they were saying that if you've been complaining that you're not getting what you need when you search things well right. you're not the it's only person a lot of people are complaining about that so uh that's kind of interesting by default i use DuckDuckGo. <laughs> right that's a very popular one yeah um i don't know if it's the second most popular one because mm. i'm sure people just have Bing and yeah. don't ever change it. I'm not kidding now. Bing. Ah, uh, Bing. I use Brave Search even in other browsers. Brave Search? I, yeah, I don't that know one. that one.
marginal mar marginalia is the other one I like to use. I don't so know these ones. See, I'm hearing I'm hearing about these smaller search engines. So there's more than Google. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm not saying Google is the only one, but they they seem to imply that they do have a bit of a monopoly on accessing information off certain sites. Yeah. And um. And they don't have enough competition. Is what right. they were basically saying. Well, yeah. people just really know Google. Yeah. Like, the, well, the mind share of Google is huge. But a lot of people, when Google came around, went, oh my god, this is so much better than well, what else was. was out there. It was so much better. So then there's like, like a, oh, I can find things now. Yeah. Um, and then just to, everybody switched because it was that good. I'll have to point you to the podcast. I just need a the summary. Bully of the sound. Sorry? I just need a summary. No, it's really interesting. <laughs> you would actually genuinely yeah? find it interesting. It's, some it's, it's something you would you would be yeah. Oh yeah, it's right up my alley. What you didn't like Alta Vista? I oh. used Yahoo for years. Alta Vista was very good. I used I, that. I cool. used a lot Yahoo I a lot. I never used Yahoo except for I, I don't know very why, but early when they were manually indexing things. Yeah, I I don't know why, but I used Yahoo a lot. I remember Alta Vista a little bit, and then 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 eventually I switched to Google. So yeah. Good show tonight, O'Brien's got to run. Thank you so oh, much. it's nice to see you, Ivory Tower Collections. Yes. Thank you for the systems. Yes. The fixes. Hope to see you on Friday yeah. when we uh, boot up the 5200 and give it a run. Yeah. Ass jeez. Ass jeez. I never use that. So yeah. Give me a key. Oh, I clipped it. Yeah. Been using D DDG oh. as a default for years, and they used to be worse than Google in general, but recently they've been much better. Really? But I think it's because Google got so bad. <laughs> um, Who got so bad people are uh, using other ones. Uh, I can gain my health back if I do the rest okay. Yay, health is full again. They were actually talking to people at Google. Oh yeah. And bringing their complaints to them. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh. uh, nope. They responded. Um, and then uh, they were. No. What was the other thing they were talking about? How at one point Google was thinking of being a subscription service without ads. And the <sighs> and again I don't remember their names, but the I'm sure people know know their names, but the the people who created it initially did not want ads on Google. <laughs> Okay. And right. actually changed their mind because they had to monetize it in some way. Yeah. Yeah. Like Google has a lot of things that yeah. people use. So I can see them going to a paid, like at one point they could yeah. have gone to a paid thing because they have the mail. Um, they have Keep that I use yeah. as well. Oh, I, I, I use a lot of. I like Google. Google services. I do. A, yeah. Um, don't get me wrong, but it was just a very interesting podcast. Yeah. 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 I pay for and their calendar. Yeah. I mean, I'm on, I have a Google yeah. phone or not a Google phone. Um, Android. Android yeah. phone, which uses a lot of Google backend. Yeah. The calendars. Yeah. I actually really like Google calendar and Google keep are both oh really good. But I pay for YouTube premium. Yes. Yeah. We is... enjoy that too. Also, we, we get YouTube music. I know a lot of people use Spotify and other... They're like, all very similar. They're very and similar. Everything's on everything. Yeah. So. But yeah, we, we have the, the Google Music, which is so good. No oh, ads. Yeah. I just play it all day long while I'm working. Yeah. I discovered lots of new music through it. Um, it's yeah. really good. So yeah, we're not shills for Google. But no, but we use it. So we do use I'm some not going to lie about that. Jeez, I just, yeah, that's so funny. Great name. And I miss Netscape, so. Netscape. I exclusively use Netscape until it was well, I use Firefox, and that's a I branch like off it of It is, it is a branch so off, yeah. It's related to it. I can't it remember is. exactly how. I, I remember see, reading something about that, yeah. yeah. But I use two browsers, because then I can be logged into two different um, logins on the same service. Yeah, true, true. Yeah, that's true. Uh, what do I use it for? Facebook, because I have two Facebooks. <laughs> one personal, one... Um, one professional. Professional. Yeah. I don't want to log in and out all the time. No, that's fair. 
Starfox is version 100 something now. Yeah, I bet yeah. it is. <laughs> they went nuts with their numbering scheme. Mm. And I use Thunderbird for my email, so I use both both the browser and their email client. I think with YouTube Premium, oh, you do actually have to opt in. Like, there's different levels and different pay schemes, so you have to pay for the music, but I'm not sure how it all yeah. works. Was an Alta Vista bought out by Yahoo? Uh, yes, yeah. I, remember. I remember. Oh, RIP Yahoo Games, yeah. And I'm getting yeah. down a little bit on the health. Not too bad. Taking that jump. Crazy. Ah, oh, that was an optional one. Go! Damn it! I remember when Yahoo had a directory of websites. That's when I first used it. Yeah. It was like manually indexed, and you yeah. could add things to it. And I added some of my sites. Oh, yeah, that's awesome. And you that's had to awesome. wait for them to be approved and added into the... Into the directory. Yeah, they had different cool. categories like, oh, for music or for, elect I don't know, electronics or video games. They had a video game section. Mm. You would drill down like a menu system to find... Info. Info, and it would all be That's very cool. categorized. It was kind of cool. Yeah. I mean, they didn't have, like, the stuff they have now. It was, like, a manual bookmark. It was almost like a bookmark site. Yes, 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 Manual yes. HTML edited. <laughs> ah! No! No! Time it. Oh no, 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 no! Oh, what's oh, happening here? Oh, there's some hissing going on. That's pretty rare. Yeah, what's who's. Oh my god, I'm being destroyed this time. That's just Atari saying, get away from me, you young punk. Yeah, you're bothering me. Yeah. And now they're chasing each other. There you go. Clipped it! Clipped it! No! Calm down. Calm down. <laughs> Deep breathing. Generally doing good. No! Deep breathing. Level 10. Uh, 4740. My last score 39153. You passed it oh. already. Oh, good. Yeah. Okay. Chelsea Downey Mal says, fumes at Yahoo buying out Cloud Party and shitting it off straight away. <laughs> yeah. Isn't that fun? A company buys another service and destroys it immediately. <laughs> a 35-year-old friend of mine has a Yahoo address, and I was like, how the hell did you even know what Yahoo was? <laughs> That's true. Let alone get stuck for life with a Yahoo email address. Oh, boy. Oh. That's why I have my own domain names. I'm never stuck with anything that gets outdated. Ugh. It's like, you're, you're on that? Why do you have that email? I have an old... Then no. you have to tell everybody else. Or... Well, and the thing is, the moment you get rid of it, oh. in theory, someone could take it. Yeah, and And I hate you. that. I, I, I just, like, you just go, okay, well, I just shut everything off and keep the account going. Like, yeah. I don't want to get rid of those old accounts. And you have to switch over everything you have logins yeah. for. Yeah, but you... That, at least, isn't so bad. I have hundreds of logins. Oh, I know. I know, but it's like... I could probably do that, but the worst thing is the losing the, the account name yeah like i don't want to lose the account name i don't want to lose control of it i just don't like that so it's so tight yeah. hotmail yeah hotmail yeah i don't think i have any hotmail accounts anymore. i did but I, i'm i did pretty sure i, I did I, I did shut that down completely but yeah i sell that i sell the yahoo i just don't use it very much but i do have it my first domain name was in 1994, so that I registered. Oh yeah. <laughs> so I really don't rely on. Um, yeah, you've always had domain names. Yeah. External providers. Accounts. Yeah. I'm gonna die on this level. I have an 18 xxx level slash dot user ID that I lost control over. Password hacked. Oh. Oh no. I'm way away. Oh. 
RC70, I just got my yes! SPC in 94. <laughs> yeah, how did it go? Second <gasps> place. Did you beat? Beat Bomber, man. Oh. 94. Yeah, way to go. Didn't beat Thomas, but yeah. his is like almost double that. Yeah. So thank you, Nostalgic. Yeah, that's that was a, good That's game. a good score to put up on the board. I'm yeah, very happy very with that. Game. I knew I would not be able to beat Thomas, but... No. Um, yeah, that would take a lot. He made it up to level 16, and I just made it up to level 11. So, yeah, there I am. While we're here, who remembers their I-C-Q-U-I-N? <laughs> I do. Six digits. Do you remember it all? Yeah, because I, I had a radio it. show, and I said it multiple times. Oh, that's funny. Every week. So that it's... is... Uh, Render Gus, they're putting their numbers in. <laughs> five one triple five eight. <laughs> mine's, one, mine's a good one, too. Five one triple five eight. Yeah. Wow. I remember ICQ. I had an ICQ, but I do not remember the number. I didn't use it that much, but I right. did have one. Funny, funny. I would chat with people while I was playing Civ 2 for like six hours straight, so. Oh, <laughs> Civ 2. Six hours. So... I, can, I, can, I can sing the background music to the loading. There we go. Oh. Good Second times. Second place, 48588, level 11. Yay! Just beat Bomberman 94. So there's... Uh-oh! Uh -oh. <laughs> yeah, uh-oh! Mine was 361-something. So. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so there's a score to beat. I'm sure somebody will. It's a super fun game, so it's really addictive to yeah. play. Where am I? I'm like 16th. What did um, you say where I was? It's pretty far they down said there. You had the second, so I think yeah, this one, that's it. Place. Twenty-four? Yeah, that sounds 24. about right. Twenty-four. Yeah. I'm happy with that. I'm All my happy. records. All your records? Oh, nice. look, I have a first place. <laughs> <laughs> I can just get a whole bunch of first place in all the different top and tom nice. um, categories. Second in in that one. Fourth in Cave Apocalypse. I mean, I really don't play. Uh, for high scores on the plus card very often. Yeah. So that's why I don't have a lot of high scores. Yeah, very Look, nice. 132nd in Hero. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Not good at that game. Uh, Amoeba Jump, 321st. Oh, uh, people get insane scores that's on Amoeba Jump. That's a terrible score. I think we just demonstrated it with Amoeba, Amoeba Jump. Yeah, I think we just played I, it once. I don't think Long we, time we, ago. we were going for high score. Enduro uh, Patch. Yeah. Yeah. So, awesome games today. Um, Chaotic Grill, super fun. Burger mm -hmm. Time, Port, mm -hmm. Immunity, really, really uh, unique yeah. and fun. Thank you for, for letting us play your game. I really, oh, like, you, I really like the single player version. I think it's yep. really, really good. I think really it, good. And you can play both, both screens now. Um, I think that I really like it. Good job, Mike Soul. Yes, it's great really good. job. Um, <laughs> and I look forward to the, the manual art, too, because I yeah. think that's going to be I, super awesome. I think a lot of people will understand the game more once you get a, a PDF together of, like, illustration. Like, yeah. not even illustrations, just screenshots yeah. with arrows, at least. And then you can get somebody to do oh, illustrations yeah. after. You know, that's that's screaming for an awesome manual. That yeah, game. it does. Yeah. Um, and Top and Tom, obviously an awesome, awesome so game. So cute. Yeah, I like it a lot, too. Um, yeah. So, uh, coming up, as we get closer to the um, holiday. Uh, so, next episode on Friday, we're going to be uh, taking out the 5200, the newly upgraded 5200, mm -hmm. giving that a spin. That's nice place for your beer. Does it? Top here. Yeah. Is that specifically what it's for? Yeah. yeah. No, it's for the controllers. <laughs> controllers that don't work. Yeah. Uh, but we have new controllers for it, and we'll show those off. That would have been pretty funny Friday. in the 80s, a, a beer holder on your, on your Atari <laughs> that system. Would be. Uh, so one, that would have caused some controversy. Like I think. one third of the space in the 5200 is that. The beer holder. The beer holder. <laughs> We're calling it the beer holder from now on because there's yep. not going to be any any control uh, controllers in there. So and uh, December 9th we have a new game by Muddy Vision, <gasps> Lewis Hill, Excellent. Secret Homebrew. So you want to be here for that. Yeah. Dedicating the whole show to it. Yeah. And then doing an after dark after because um, I think there's enough playtime in the game. I think he's got pretty far in making it. Um, so that'll be a Darcy afternoon show, and then we're doing um, going f playing in the Orbital War competition. Um, trying to get, I don't know what you get in it, but <laughs> try to get into the competition and put our score in. 
Um, so that'll be an after dark in the middle of the day. <laughs> Enough uh -huh. room to hold ice, yes. Yeah, ice in one. <laughs> there's ice in one side, and yeah, and you a just beer put the, the ice other. in and stick oh. the beer in the ice. There's um, plenty of room for ice. In this. Is it is it water water? Like look, oh, yeah, look how could. deep, look how deep that yeah. is. Oh my you god! Put ice in the middle, and then you kind of put one beer on one side, two? one you beer on the other. You could stick them straight up. Oh yeah, you could put. Yeah. Oh yeah, you could stick them straight up or lean them to the side. Yeah. You know what you need to create is like a little beer cozy or something. Oh, that like, looks like, like a fifty-two hundred. So, so a beer cozy to fit in that, so you can no stick thanks. your beer in there. Oh, Water. hilarious! No, no, you know beer cozies. They're like oh, made of that, I see. that that like um. Yeah. Scuba material. Just so one that fits perfectly so you can stick your beers. Oh, in you there. have Orbital War as well, RC70? Oh, don't have nice. time to quit, join the competition. Four well, skinny cans. We'll try. <laughs> See if you have some time. Maybe yeah. during the holidays or something. I think that's <laughs> yeah. liquid cooled 5200. <laughs> yeah. And then on the um, Tuesday after that, we have the Vectrex special. Yeah. So we're going to bring out the Vectrex Yay. and play some Vectrex homebrew. Yeah. Vectrexian, Vector Pilot, Vector Patrol, and probably one or two more. Yeah. Um, and then one more show after that to kind of catch any last minute games that people are putting out mm -hmm. um, before we go on break. And I'm sure we'll do some after darks during the during the break. Um, just to play some things here and there. Probably some more load runner levels as well. Try and get through those. Yes. So much fun. Yeah. Having a lot of fun with the so load runner. Much fun. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, and then when we come back on January 3rd, we have the interview yeah, with Giovanna so <laughs> about us. That'll be lots of fun. We'll play some games. Yeah. Um, yeah. So if you have some questions, I posted the link. It's in the uh, Zero Page Homebrew Club. If you want to add some questions to that. And then, of course, in mid to late February, we have the fifth annual Atari Homebrew Awards for all the games that were released in 2022. Oh. Uh, for the 2600, 5200, 7800, uh, the Lynx, the Jaguar, and the 8-bit systems. So we're going to do all those this year. Every single one of them. No Atari ST. Because mm. that's a whole other thing. <laughs> <Fair> <laughs> so we don't do awards for those. Yeah. That's, too, that's too new. It's way too new. Mm. Even though it's on the same kind of generation as the Jaguar. Because yeah. they get ports, ports over for that. Um, so thank you for tuning in, everyone. Mm -hmm. It was a lot of fun really today was. catching yeah. up with new ver new um, versions of these games that we played before. They're getting really, really good, mm -hmm. all of them. What's the latest on your Lynx? My Lynx is back in the for repair. Yeah. Uh, it's getting a new motherboard mm. put on it. The new motherboard is there. Okay. Um, so now he's moving the mods over to the new motherboard. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I'll keep updated. It probably will not, it won't be back before um, we sign off for the end of the year. Otherwise, I would do a link special as the last episode. We'll have to do a link special in the, in the new year. Yeah, so that'll be, that'll be fun. Um, so there's the latest on the links. Um, can't wait to get that back and play some links games. So thank you, Nostalgic26, Atari 2600 dude, RC70. Chao Sedani Mao, Mike Soul, thank you for your yes. game. Super Immunity, cool. super awesome. Uh, old Style, um, S. Ramirez, Charles Wieland, Marco Johannes, uh, Rendered Ghost, Chitlitla, Tari 2600 Dude, probably said your name already. Who else? Same people. Ivory Tower Collections. Mm -hmm. See Vitoko in there. Vitoko, yeah. Uh, Marco Johannes, mm -hmm. you mentioned. I did. Vitoko. Uh, oh, same names. Dan ABC. Oh, Dan ABC. Yep. Popped in there. Carl G, way at the top. Yeah. See Excellent. We never we end. never looked at the um uh, uh what do I want to say? <laughs> the old um advertisement for um Oh, we'll go off with that. We'll go out with that. Yeah. What was it for? Uh, it was um, Burger Time, right? Yeah, it was at the top of the chat, but I'm oh, not sure if it's it. still there. That's easy enough to find. Burger Time, yeah. Yeah. I'm like, not Chaotic Grill. <laughs> it was... Yep. Yeah. There we... Is it this one? I think it's this oh, one. Oh, yeah. It is. So let's take a look at that before we leave. <laughs>
two burgers to go, please. Help me! Introducing Burger Time, the new home video game where you're the chef trying to make hamburgers. There's just one problem. The food is trying to make hamburger Help! out of you. Another hot new <laughs> arcade game for Intellivision, Burger Time. With arcade-like super graphics, only on Intellivision. Now. <laughs> We're closed now. I mean, that could be quite frightening. Uh, <laughs> that's I, yeah. Level. Yeah, that's um, in Television 2 was in that um, commercial. Oh, the smaller one. Oh, the smaller one. Uh, great yeah. score, James. I can't get past level eight. That's the NT2 I have. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I've got it in Television 2 as well. I opted to upgrade the classic one just for the look of it. Yeah. Rather than in Television 2. Um, my friend had Burger Time for the NES. We love that game. It's a fun game. Mm -hmm. And I'm really, really enjoying this. I'm, I'm looking forward to hopefully if he includes some um community made levels mm. in the cartridge that would be fun to play some non-arcade mm. levels that'd be a lot I'm surprised they didn't make f fun of the 2600 <laughs> no they always yeah. show the best version yeah yeah they very don't want they never want to show that 2600 version yeah um, did not look good at all no um yeah so we're done uh have a good week yeah. everyone we'll see you on friday S say goodbye kitties we'll see if we get snowed in tomorrow it's possible. It might be a work from home day for me. Yeah, I There's saw some a lot of snow out there. Posts on Facebook from companies saying don't come in. It's uh, it's a oh, snow day. Sounds like our neighbor is uh, shoveling our walk. That's oh, wonderful. Very nice of them. They beat us to it. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, have a great week, and we'll see you on Friday yes. for the Atari Fifty Two Hundred uh, special kickoff. Yeah. Play some homebrews on the Fifty Two Hundred. Yeah. Right. Uh, yeah. Yes. He's scared. He's like, what is that? Oh, noise? he can hear the noise. Poor cat. Okay, bye everyone. Bye. Have a good Have night. Have a good night. Bye -bye. See you soon.